Are you recording this? Can't be. If these people come in and want to invest in these high yield things with a growth mindset, they're just never going to be happy. You know, obviously you want to try to preserve the you of the initial investment, like you know the the rental property itself. You, you know, you take care of it, you you fix things that break, you upgrade it. Yeah. So I look at that as you know reinvesting some of the dividends. The same thing as uh, you know we're fixing the roof or you know putting in a new floor. You, you're keeping up the value of the initial investment. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't ever plan on selling these things. So, you know, if I'm down 10% or up 10% on the share price, you know, great, one way or the other. This is cash flow. And at some point, depending on your risk tolerance and how aggressive you want to be, um, you're going to get your initial investment back. You know, like Matt, he's at, what, almost 75%. So... That's in a you know sixteen months or whatever, he'll have gotten that five and a half million or whatever he's put in back. Now, whether he chooses to reinvest that mm -hmm. or just spend it or buy something else is irrelevant. He got the five point four million dollars back, so whatever's left is just great. I mean, I don't understand how that's so difficult to to understand. I, I just don't why they can't be that. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, the only the only solution is not not. I, I don't want to understand how why they think yeah, that way. Well, I bought them. Yeah, exactly. yeah. When when I first start, you know, my YouTube journey, I want to, you know, because you you're trying to be nice. You want to play nice with people. You want to be polite. Exactly. And, uh, and you, so you kind of like sit there and listen to a, like a good counselor, you know, like like a good grief counselor and just say, oh, hey, what's, you know, like to hear their opinions and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, for me personally, this is a personal journey, so it's my portfolio. I, I'm the one who has to live in this portfolio. And like you have to live in your portfolio, you know. And uh -huh. it doesn't matter what YouTube video that I make. It's your portfolio, not it's not my portfolio. And you have to live with it. So, and I have to live with this portfolio. So, and I'm just showing people, this is my method. This is what I'm doing. And people are free to do whatever they want to do. And, and there's a lot of people under the premise and the disguise of helping me by giving me advices or whatever, or by talking to me. You, I keep telling people all the time, there's only three people can change my mind. God, my mom, and my girl. That's it. Nobody yeah, else okay. can change my mind, so so it's it's pointless to even try. But if you want, and I'm not going to take an advice or or comments from any person online. It's just so it's not going to happen either. You know, just if you really want to help me, if you truly care about helping me, uh, you know, come down, come down and have a cup of coffee and meet me in person, and we'll whiteboard it. You know, like we're a little whiteboard because I'm a military guy, and. Uh. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sit there and what, diagram it and explain it and theorize it and all that stuff with me, but you're not gonna you're not gonna. There's no effective return just by posting comments that oh I try to help him but he doesn't want to listen to me. It's a comments, dude. I'm not you know what I mean. You, you're not. Yeah. If you have dialogue like like you you guys having comments and conversation with me, that's at least better than just posting comments and then. And then under disguise, it well, I try to help him, but he doesn't listen to me. It's it's a comments. It's like it's like Twitter chat. You know, yeah. it, it, there's there's no debate about. It. I'm willing to listen to all side, but but I, what I'm not going to do is something. change change my strategy. Uh, be, uh, and I'm, I'm willing to listen, but it just I'm not going to change it. So just think about uh, the crypto community telling us that. The world's gonna come to an end because I, we don't buy crypto, and what we're doing, you know, like we're missing out on those opportunity. All right, the bond community yeah. saying the world's gonna end, and if we exactly. don't buy bond, um, therefore everything we're doing here is gonna fail, and we're gonna end up stuck with the bags. The growth community just think we're we're a bunch of retard and we don't know what we're doing, and and yes. we we're all gonna lose money, and we end up 
you know, and not only this is a scam, not only Tessie is a scam, but all high yield dividends is a scam. Just think about that. All synthetic yeah. high yield dividend is a scam. How would you like to take that? All. It doesn't matter what it is. All cover call strategy, all option trading strategy is a scam. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen that. And, oh, yeah. I'm from Boston also, come here. Oh. If you're ever up here visiting family, you know, we definitely are you, are you, meet are up. You, yeah, my, are you in downtown Boston or are you outskirts of no, the city? Yeah, I never lived in the city, but, you know, I grew up uh, just outside the city in Revere. Oh, so yeah, know I know where area. Revere is. And then I moved. I'm out in the middle of the state now, but oh, okay. you know, I, I lived there for for. You know, forty years I was in the eastern part of the state. Next to yeah, yeah, we definitely. Uh, when I'm in the area, we definitely should meet up and, uh, you know, for 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 a cup of coffee. Yeah. And uh, and uh, or cold beer. I don't know. You, I know you're a beer drinker. I, I'm. I yeah, drink no, I do, yeah, I drink. <laughs> yeah. No, I enjoy this community. Uh, and hey, if if somebody could critique my math and show me where I could. Uh, make it better. I'm all. I'm all for that. You know. But when I a couple of conversations I've had with Matt, I'm just going over the math here, and I, I just, you know, I, I don't see if you, you know, you got to maintain it. I don't think it's completely, you know, set it and forget it. You know, you've got to put some effort into strategically. Yeah. This is this you know, is an act of trading. I, sure. It's 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 an act of trading uh, investment strategy. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. You're not going to sit here and buy Coca-Cola and walk away and come back 10, 10 years later. You have yeah, to. Yeah, no, but I think this is a, a great, you know, we'll see how it plays out in the next few years. But with this, you don't have to have $3 million invested in a yeah. CHD for hundred grand a year. I mean, you know, yeah. that's great if you have that kind of money. But if you don't, which most people don't, um, I think this is a yeah. uh, an avenue where you're able to, you know, support yourself or at least, at the very least, uh, take a lot of the financial burden off your monthly bills. You know, if you if you're smart with it. Yeah, and that's why that's why we we always say this is a very small niche community. And if you join this community, you're on the outskirts. You 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 are, you are definitely on the fringe of investment style, and. Uh, and and that's okay. That's that's our little that's our little niche to the world, you know. That's uh, and but because of YouTube video, they uh, you know they see it and they pop in and they kind of like, oh, what you doing is wrong. Okay, that, th thank you, thank you for coming to the meeting. And uh, but we're gonna keep on doing what we're doing. And uh, and uh, and I appreciate the the effort. I appreciate you watching, but. Yeah. You know. Let me. I forget what you. I know you addressed this, but um, you know I'm a member of the Discord and whatnot. But yeah. how do I see the reaction videos? I that one that you just post up. It was members only. You get to see it if you're actually watching the live discussion. That's how we would see it. Uh, yeah. So when I make the video, so when I make the video and you happen to be in the room, you're seeing it for the first time. Because I, I only so make we, video when I do this. It, yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry? So if we miss it there, we got to pay the 99 cents to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not worth it. I, okay. I, I only do that. Yeah. No, I was just curious. Yeah. Yeah. Curious. No, don't, don't subscribe. Don't, don't buy anything from my channel. It's not, it's not that important. I, like, like the other, the, there's two levels. The other, number one, I'm testing out these monetization stuff. And, uh, and, oh. and so I, I'm not, I'm new to this stuff. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm testing out. Number two, um, if you want to see picture me riding motorcycle and eating and traveling, the personal stuff, the only people who watch that is my family. Like the, there's just people who subscribe yeah. are people I know or, or you know, maybe like one or two, I, I don't know who they are. But but the, the other people that, that know, not subscribe, the people that, that pay for this member, essentially people I know very well, you know. And they, that's how they watch me traveling and stuff like that. Before they were all in the open public; anybody can access it. Uh, but you know, so now now I just put that all in that area. So that's one group. And the other group is essentially my review. Uh, my and uh, I do these review. And what happened? What I discover is that the review just just the mere thought you're talking about them 
It didn't matter what you say, good or bad. Their community, not necessarily the, 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 the people who I review, these guys are big time YouTubers. So they, they don't care about who I am. So they, you know, they, they, they're moving on. Like, you know, they are not worried about our investment, you know. And so they don't worry about my opinions and that stuff, you know. They're, and then the other group of people I review are people who, who has a marketing, marketing. I know they write their e-guys, they have their, you know, their subscription, their service. If you want financial advice, you talk to them and they give you, they, you pay money. So there's a service for them. So I review those people and they don't care about people like me. Matter of fact, I'm the opposite of that because I just talk about everything for free, uh, as as best we can. You know, so uh, those that, that's really the view. But what happened is their 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 uh, their people violently will come after me. No, not violently. Not I mean online, they just come after no, me, I and I I just don't want to deal with that. And that's the reason why I put that in it uh, in there. So if you, if people want to see it, great, and just go there. I I I want to do the review of everything because I want. I want to capture, I want to capture that moment, that time, when it happens, because somebody critiquing it, and I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to uh, go back and many years later. One of the the only reason why I record video games is for to, for memory's sake, so I can go back to uh, to those days when I was doing dungeon raids, or when I go back those days when I was fighting three against one, five against one, and, and one. Or when I was in a tournament, you know, in a, in a competitive tournament, and, and my team won. Those are memories. Those are good memories. And that's why, that's why I record those things. And it's the same way I do it here. But, yeah, um, that, that's pretty much it, you know. So they, they just review. They're really not that important, right? like, to the world of things. They just review on what people were talking about on on whatever it is, whatever subject it is that I find it can be that of interest, that that can be the opposite. Oh. Sometimes I agreed and sometimes I totally disagreed. Um, but either way, man, their community, what I agreed or disagreed, they come in. Um, I'll give you an example. Panda, I don't know if you ever see Panda video. Oh, yeah. Uh, this guy right here, I love Panda. I watch I watch Panda almost all his video. I watch no, I don't want to say all. I watch all his video. The reason why I like him so much is because he he does the uh, the review on these ETF fund. I just don't have time. I used to do the same thing. I used to go look at it, read the prospectus, talk about it, trying to figure out how much money you get out of it, and uh, and but he does that. So since he's doing that, I don't need to do that. Uh, I used to do what retired dividend does, analyze a breakdown and try to figure out what the dividend price is for this month. But he does that and he does it really well, so I just stopped doing it. Because the problem with me is I don't have time to do any of this stuff. So, uh, and then Rexshare does it for, uh, not Rexshare, Max does it for Defiance, so I just watch him. So I just watch those people for those niche target, niche group. So I stopped doing it. But I'll give you an example. Panda critique. Oh, I, and I, I made a comment soon. I said, oh, man, you're attacking the queen. Don't do that, man. The queen's going to come. Oh, he took the video down? Oh, right here. He called, he called the queen an ETF Bobby. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. This is, this is a picture right here. He went after no, the I'm ETF Bobby. No, I'm not seeing Bobby. anything. Like, huh? If you're putting something up, if you're putting something up on the screen, I don't see it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. My my fault. Yeah. So he mentioned ETF Bobby. Oh, yeah. And 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 uh, they came after him hard. You know. So, but you know, but he 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 took the spear and took the arrow and we move on. So, but yeah. yeah so that's 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 what. It's not her. She doesn't care who he is. She has care less about who he is, but it's his, it's her community, the people who subscribe to her, the people who pay her service. You know, she has there's a service that, uh, you know, like she's give give you know financial advice and you pay you know you charge them two hundred dollar whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I never used any yeah. of these services. Um, I cannot imagine why would you need to use a service for financial advice. I I, I don't know what the situation would you would do it, um, but. I'm not. I'm not despairing it. But if I was going to do it, I would. I would use you know Fidelity, you know, Charles Schwab, but not through YouTube. I, I just cannot imagine what 
the situation you would need to contact a YouTuber and say, hey, man, uh, I'm, uh, I'm willing to pay you $400 an hour to give me some advice on how to make my portfolio better. Hey, you know I mean? what's up? hey, what's going on, Kareem? Good morning. Good morning. Now, I'm, I'm doing this live stream for the time zone differences. Um, so most people don't get to see this live stream because I only live stream Sunday and Thursday. Uh, today, I'm supposed to be traveling, and um, but I'm not. I'm not traveling today, so therefore, I'm at home, and and I'm you know just enjoying life. But I will travel next no, next time. And yeah, I was looking forward to the Saturday morning coffee. This morning. Oh, you do? You guys... Yeah, Saturday morning coffee. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Or energy drink? Yeah. No, it, this is a good conversation. What I enjoy the most, the the this is what I enjoy most about the YouTube, the, like my format, is having conversation with you. I, I Because I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm never going to tell somebody that I know what I'm doing. I, I, I have an answer, but that answer came from somebody else. It's not, it's not my answer. It's not something. And what I do is I try to do apply logic to it. I either Google it, read it, and, and have understanding. But I, I have no background in this stuff. So why would I go and tell you that I know what I'm doing? You know what I mean? Makes sense? But what what I enjoy the most is the conversation. This that's that's really the format that I that I enjoy is the conversation, uh, and and to, trying to learn your perspective and try to understand why you here. No, because we are all we are all focused on high yield dividends. So as a result, it's it's a very particular topics. You know, if this was about motorcycle, that's all we should be talking about is motorcycle. And I want you know I want to have conversation about motorcycle. Yeah, you know? but. We we are we are here for high yield dividends, and that's what we that's what I want to talk about. That's all. And what's your, what's your take on that? Who are you asking? You. Yeah, we, oh. I'm sorry. I was having a conversation with you. Yeah, I saw uh, Cream has his mic open too. Uh, no, I I really enjoy uh, this community. There's some, you know, people. You know, very knowledgeable people yeah. that I, I enjoy uh, watching their comments and their uh, opinions on these live shows. And also, I I really enjoy you as a as a person. You, you seem to be a really sincere, nice nice person, and and I enjoy that part of it too. Um, and I love these uh, high yield things. I've been you know going through strategies in my head over the last few months of yeah. you know the best way to approach it to uh get as much out of it monthly as safely as possible so that's why i'm here can you imagine can you imagine this if uh whoever bought tesla at eight dollar and i don't know what the low price is let me just I know somebody does. I know somebody, somebody out there bought it for this price. I don't know who it is, but somebody is. Let me look at it. So the lowest 52 weeks low is $8.46. Can you imagine somebody out there, average, cost average is $8.47? Yeah, because it seems to have some support at Oh, 200. can you, you imagine know, that? Up. Can you imagine owning this stock at eight dollars and forty-seven cents? And this, let's say, this is maybe the last time we see this low price. Holy cow! <laughs> Talking about me, man. Oh, is that you? Oh, what's your <laughs> average, man? I'm pretty close. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm new in the last few months. Yeah. Uh, but I'm at nine fourteen. Oh my God! See. I, I just ran out of money. Uh, I want to keep cost averaging down, but here, here's a good part about my portfolio. I'm I'm at the I'm on the other side now, where I don't need to buy Tesla anymore. So I can just go because I reached my goal. You know, three thousand a month, seven thousand five hundred. I mean, I can still throw money into it, but I don't need to. So effective immediately. So if you twenty four months from uh, eight, not even twenty four months. Let's say eighteen months from uh, from February. So that's. Uh, 2026 or something like that and uh 
my my entire portfolio, the, my entire, uh, which is going to be about roughly eighty seven thousand dollar, will be paid. One hundred percent of them, my portfolio will be paid by. Yeah. And yeah, it's just that's awesome, man. I I just can't I I can't believe that. And I don't I don't have to put money into it anymore. I don't have to put my portfolio. Not not Tesla alone, but I'm talking about the whole portfolio. I don't have to contribute my own hard earned money because I'm making six thousand dollars a month. I could just I could just go autopilot now. You know what I mean? And that autopilot will will head me toward ten thousand dollars. You know what's gonna happen is this. I, I don't know where the threshold is because I'm there's there's only a few of us. It's not like there's a huge population of us owning these things and and I'm the only I'm the I feel like I'm the only one left making YouTube video about these things. Uh, because all those people who used to make video, YouTube video of it, they're all ditching it. They all like just went away and disappeared. You know, they, they don't really care about it. Um, it, it appeared that way. It just, uh, and so I'm the only one who's still talking about it. I'm the only one still investing in it. I'm the only one who loves it. I'm the only one who's passionate about it. And uh, I'm the only one who's like, talk about all these high yield dividends. And what happened, well, I don't wanna say I'm the only one. I'm pretty sure there's people out there um, you know that that still talk about still have passion about it. Uh, well, I, I'll give you an example. They still have passion, still talking about Max, uh, retiring dividends. You know, uh, Panda. You know, if I miss somebody, uh, yeah, you know. passive income investing from Canada. He's, yeah, yeah, the, the young boy all. from yeah, passive income. Well, he he took a lot of heat when he when he started criticizing Tesla, uh, and. Uh, and he he's 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 pretty much think it's gonna go zero or something like that, and he took a lot of heat. So now he's coming back, and so yeah. So there's 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 a, a few out there, but at one point they were all talking about it. There's a lot of people talking about it, you know, and uh, but then then they all just start they just start ditching. And so as soon as they talk about the reverse, you know, when this reverse split and all stuff, and then they just become not only talk about it, they become anti Tesla. It was like the opposite. Uh, of the investment story, they not they don't have conviction to it. Uh, I had conviction, so I I saw this fund back in January when I was a young, when I was when I was just starting out, brand new account, brand new to investment. I don't even know what an ETF. I've been searching stocks. This is how I've been searching. I just do the stock screener. It the exact method. I was just screening, looking for dividends. Like okay, I'm gonna find some dividends, some good dividends here. I was like okay, let me look at some dividend yield. Uh, Zim trash UAN that's pretty good, but they pay quarterly. Uh, you know DEC I don't know trash Grin trash I don't know, like somebody. And then I say you know what I need to sort by U.S. company. Then I add a filter and I I went and say I put on country. I, this is the method, and I spent like days and weeks looking for the ideal perfect fund. And I was like okay, I I don't care about all these foreign countries, so let me just look at the U.S. for now. U.S. and Ca Canada, all right. Wow, there's still four thousand six hundred something stock that pay dividends, and then, but it, it dropped a lot. It, it, the yield just came down a little bit, and then after that, I wanna, I, then I wanna add by company that's actually making profit, you know. Um, so you got kind of like you sort by where is the profit? Uh, performance. Growth. Now I'm trying to find out. You, when you do this live, you can't find it now. Uh, revenue. Yeah, I just want I want only company that have revenue, that generate revenue. Doesn't matter what it is, just revenue. And then you're like, okay, and I want my revenue to be more than, you know, more more than over zero. And then you can, and then it drop down even more. So I just keep sorting these things out. I like I only want that, and then I only want, I, and then I only want monthly, and that's frequency. So, where is frequency? I should rehearse this before I do live. Um, frequency. What the heck? It's under dividends, so I gotta find under dividends payout frequency. Oh, here you go. It, 
Yeah, I'm under pressure, so that's why I can't. <laughs> like, I'm under time pressure. Find it. I'm t okay, now become three. It's only 33 stock left. 33 stocks, all right? So when you filter by <laughs> monthly payments over profitable company and in the United States, become 30. And I'm like, all right, this is uh, energy oil sector. No thanks. Spirit Airline, no thanks, because I hate Spirit Airline. Uh, <laughs> like, AGNC, you know, I came from real, real estate uh, background. So uh, not real estate, uh, you know, landlord background, you know, uh, just investment property background. So AGNC, I was like, okay, uh, I could see that. Ellington Financial, I didn't know much about it. And then, you know, you, I just sorted by high to lowest, you know, MTR, GIPR, PSEC, you know, and uh, uh, let, let me put the uh, price. Let me put the, uh, I don't need. I don't need payout ratio. Let me just put the stock price. I haven't looked at these guys in a while. All right, so PSEC, wow, went up to $5.83. That's pretty good. Good for them. So you got all these guys, you know? Like, the the only one that I like out of all of them, uh, I'm just sort of by this way. This is what I like. I like these guys. I like Realty Trust. Uh, I like EPR, I like SL Green, our Realty Income, ADC. I don't like Main Street that much, but did Main Street did Main Street reverse stock reverse split? They used to be like ten dollar. Holy cow! Oh no, it just went up naturally. They must have. They must. Wow, it just went up naturally. Holy cow! Oh no, they got they they had to do something. I haven't looked at this in a while. I mean, they're, they're always a profitable company. You look at it. That's what you want to see in your financial data. It's green. I don't know how to read the financial data. You know, I, so I, I just see green across the board. I was like, okay, that's good. And that's that's what you want to see. And um, LTC, my favorite is Realty Income. Realty Income. That's that's always been my favorite. And the other one I like is Alteria Group. But you notice a lot of REIT. A lot of REIT. Because there's no way for you to get that kind of yield unless you... Unless your business model is to pay 90% of the money back to the investor. This, it's impossible. So essentially, if you're going to go in a high yield dividends in stock, you're going to buy REIT. There's no other, there's no other way around it uh, because they pay 90% of the money back. And there's other, there's other close and fund and, and uh, uh, master liability type. And there's all different type of dividend paying uh, you know, you know, assets out there. And... But these are all stocks. But my, and, and during the time, this is all I was looking at. I have no idea what ETF is because I thought ETF was mutual fund. No idea. No idea. And then, and then I, one day I said, you know what, let me look at look the ETF. I know what IPO is. So I was like, oh, let me look at ETF. And then they have a screener. I'm like, oh, let, let's look at the ETF screener. And I'll, I'll do that. And the ETF screener is exactly very similar to that. And I just, I just sort it all out. And then I sort it by, you know, and then, and then guess what? Tesla and Clip, during the time, because Tesla and Clip was new, they, they were not on this list because the, the way, if you sort it by yield, it's not on the list because they were only two months old and they didn't make the, the money it, it need to be on the list. But when you sort it some other method like this right now, it pop up. And you're like, I'm like, what is this Tesla? I have no idea. A little bit. Think about it. I bought Tesla and I have no idea what it is. And so I click on it. I bought Tesla and Clip. And not only I bought it, I made it my primary uh, core investment journey. Like, like it's like the foundation. I, I was looking. That's what, I mean, exactly what I was looking for. I, I was looking for an ETF to rule them all. I was looking for an ETF that will... Uh, that will, you know, support my theory, my 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 plan. My plan is, you know, you know, to promote, you know, alternative income, not fire, which is different. A lot of people think I'm part of the fire community. I'm I, I'm looking for financial independent. I don't care much about the retirement part. Uh, early, the retired early part, because the the community I'm looking after, you know, most of the immigrant community. I want them to keep on working. 
If you're poor, you don't want to stop working. You want to keep on working. As a matter of fact, you want to work out of that job. But this this provides you insurance and back, back plan. Because if you're working in construction and you're working on a street, uh, you know, you know, you know, city hall, you know, putting pothole in the street. If you're in Boston, man, there's a lot of those pothole. I think sometimes I think those people are scamming. <laughs> you're like, I don't know what. It's like, why can you never ever fix a pothole? I don't understand it. Um, these potholes, you know, and you're working there. You're labor. You're labor to this crew, and you're making. I don't know how much you could pay now. You know, like say twenty dollars an hour, and you get paid twenty dollars an hour. You fix pothole, but these are tough labor jobs. It's not easy to fix a pothole. Not easy to be outdoor in Boston in any temperature, hot, cold. You get wet, you get rain on, you get piss on, and then people yell at you, people throwing a cup of coffee at you, and it's not easy. Um, a lot of my friends and family are in labor job, and a lot of people in my YouTube ch channel are labor job. They are, they're essentially working labor, labor, labor job. There's a guy, he was on yesterday, I mean, we were talking. We were talking to him. He was cleaning toilets. He's cleaning toilet, not not at a not at an office space somewhere, not at a hospital in a parking lot. So think of like an airport parking lot. He's cleaning toilet at the airport parking lot. Yeah. So, and and that's his job. Why? Because he's a good father. He's a good husband, and and he's gonna go provide the income for his family. So they can, so they can live a good life. So his kids can have a good life, and so when you look at these kind of fun, I, I was, you know, so that's I, I was looking for that. I was trying to, I was trying to find something that will will anchor my philosophy to this thing, and I found it through Tesla, and now there's a whole bunch of them. So I don't need to say all in on Tesla anymore because there's so many of them. But you know, the high yield dividends is how you're going to get your financially out of the situation. So when I look at it, it's like Yield Max Tesla. I didn't know what it was, but I, I, I recognized the TSLA. I was like, dude, this must be the Tesla version. I thought it was Tesla, you know, like a Tesla, you know, uh, dividend version of Tesla stock. I was like, I was like, oh my God, this is it. But then it was like, what the heck is this option income strategy? I didn't know what option income strategy is. Because, you know, I, I never even trade stocks and all that stuff. So I have no idea. All right, so I got, finally got my coffee. So if you have your coffee, go ahead and pull it out. If, for some of you are drinking beer, then hey, that's because it's evening your time. Uh, then, yeah, drink beer and have a cold one. If you like whiskey, man, I, I love whiskey. Whiskey is my favorite. So if you're drinking whiskey, I'm jealous. It's 9 o'clock in the morning here in Miami, so it's, uh, <laughs> so it's not, you know, yeah, good morning. All right. Yeah, so it's 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 like that. It's crazy. Um before I continue on, does anybody want to jump in and say something? I'm going to eat my breakfast here a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say did you already talk about the new yield max that uh retire on dividends was talking about? The ETF MSTR is the stock. Micro oh yeah, strategy. we did. We I I covered two hundred. Oh, okay. I must have missed when, it. I missed it. Oh, I did. I saw that video. What you're talking about? Me, uh, for those who don't know, Retire and Dividend and I were, were 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 good friends. Now we're online friends. We don't we don't know each other. It's not like you know which which is online friend. We have we have mutual interests. His interest, the mutual interest is that he's going to retire on his portfolio. I'm going to retire my portfolio. All right, best man win. And, you know, so it it's not that our mutual interest that we both like Tesla. I don't think he liked Tesla uh, as much as I do. Um, so I think he liked high yield dividend, but I don't think he liked it as much as I do, you know. So, um, so uh, but but we both have the, the common goal is that he's going to have to retire on that dividends. I have to retire on my dividend, on my portfolio. He's got to retire on his portfolio. So what's your take on it? What's your opinion? I, I already did a, 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 a video on that, MST. Oh, MST. oh, okay. I'll have to go back and watch it. I was just wondering what the opening price was going to be. Oh, $20. They're all $20. If you do it, you do it more than $20, 
Nobody but you know it. MSTR. Yeah, MSTR is yeah. it's seven hundred dollars. That's why I was just wondering was it going to be different because it's a high dollar stock. No, NVD is almost eight hundred dollar. I mean that they're not going to. Is yeah, it yielding fund? What'd you say? Is it new yield max fund? Yeah, yeah, that's what he says. It's supposed to come out. Uh, yeah, I think next week. I don't know about next week, but uh, it takes it takes like seventy five days for it. it when whenever they file it, seventy five days from filing, the earliest they can come out is seventy five days. It's on the it's on the filing document. So when you look on the filing document, they said seventy five yeah, days. Yeah, I look. Yeah, look, they said they filed uh, May of twenty twenty three. Oh. No, yeah, then, <laughs> yeah, then, then you're right. May come out next week. Then, what is it trend? Uh, MSTR. The M- MS- MSTR. Yes. MicroStrategy. And they have ten billion dollars in Bitcoin. MicroStrategy. Yeah, my MicroStrategy biggest holding is Bitcoin. The reason I know about this is because Rexy has this to come out. But they haven't. Come, Rexia, I don't know why Rexy haven't come out yet. They they just they just all in on Feppy at the moment. But I think they're ready to come out. We should ask him. You know, like, I mean, he's in our Discord, the Rexy executive. Uh, first of all, did anybody get a T-shirt from him? They all submit for T-shirt. Somebody should post and tag I him. I did. I did. He he replies back and he says, "Yep, confirmed. Thanks for your support." Right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We'll yeah. You, my recommendation because I don't do this, so it's up to you. I, 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 you do you, but you know, you know, this is not, this is not a, um, you know, this, we're not even a club. We just, we just a bunch of people hanging out. But I told him this. I don't private message him in Discord. So uh, unless, unless for something like this, you know. But I, you're never gonna get any. I, you're not. He's, I'm not gonna invite him. But what I do if I want to talk to him, I just tag him. And that's and you, that's why you see him. I just tag him when I when I want to talk to him, and then you see the tag. That's how I talk to everybody in Discord. I just tag you, and then I post it in the general discussion, and then, yeah, and then and then you come private me, and and we private each other, and that's how we do it. But it's it's gonna be scheduled. I'm not just gonna randomly, you know, t- um, just send him a message. So, uh, yeah, somebody should just tag him and ask him. I was like, when is Rex Shears kind of come out? <laughs> Does anybody want to do that? <laughs> I think it's funny. What's your take on it? On MSTR? They hold a lot of um, Bitcoin. So it's a, I think it's a little play on uh, micro strategy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they own like a crap ton of uh, Bitcoin, and so that they're kind of a play on Bitcoin. They're a software platform too, but I think the, the majority of people in putting money into them is for their uh, investment in Bitcoin. Now, why do they right. own so much Bitcoin? What, what's the reason behind that strategy? Do you know I what the reason? I think CEO or, so, or somebody was just very, very bullish on it, and they own like millions of or, or they own a, a significant amount of Bitcoin. I yeah, I, I read Bitcoin. ten ten billion dollars. I read. <laughs> I heard he bought in at 30, 30 something thousand. That's where he bought most of it at. Oh, you said nice. Did you say you bought crypto, uh, Bitcoin? No, he's that's my strategy. That's where he bought most of it at. Was at the thirty thousand mark somewhere around there. A lot of it.
So is it what fifty something thousand now? So you just think about how much he's made. Unbelievable. Yeah, he he's he believe in Bitcoin. What are you using it for? <laughs> loan collateral or something? This is the CEO, by the way, in the picture right here. Yeah, I apologize for that. I'm just getting a quick snack here and uh, and enjoy my coffee. Now, some of you, like, I, I drink my coffee black. I don't put cream or sugar or anything like that, except Dunkin' Donut. Dunkin' Donut is the only coffee where I go to a coffee place and I said, uh, medium coffee, regular. And then they gave me their coffee with cream and sugars in it. And I thought that was one of the best business models, but it only worked in Boston. It doesn't work anywhere else. You go to Dunkin' Donut in Georgia and you say, hey, uh, medium coffee, regular. And they're going to be like, huh? So how many cream and sugar? I just read, I said regular. And they're like, how many, so is that two, three, four? It's just weird. But in Boston, you know, like, they know the, the right amount. They Sometimes they know you, like, because you go there so often. I, there's one Dunkin' Donut place that I go to a lot and uh, my my uncle hang out with that Dunkin Donut after work he just go there before he go to sleep he work night shift he go there and and um, and I would meet him there and all his boys all his boys just hanging out there and I'm walking to Dunkin Donut and uh, now what my business there was just a flirt with the girl that, that worked there at the time and um, and so I uh, and and sometimes she knows like what flavor I like you know like you know, the, because the regular is really, she add a little bit more, and it's just it's just so perfect every single time. You know. Yeah. It's, so, what about you guys? You guys drink your coffee black or you? Uh, black. Nothing in it. It's straight. Yeah, most of the time my coffee is just black too. When man, when I was uh, when I was in Iraq, this is. I, I was so desperate for 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 uh, to stay awake. I was doing uh, coffee, and I was just essentially uh, pouring coffee, the the instant coffee, into my mouth, and I pour my uh, canteen into my mouth. I just switch in my mouth, and I just drink it that way. I was like, "Oh man, it was some desperate time." I don't know. Have anybody done that? Anybody in the military done that to their MREs, uh, MRE food? Civil Liner say he like his coffee like my woman, blonde and sweet. Oh, good for you. Uh, don't drink coffee, prefer a Coke. All right. Yeah, you probably, I don't know if you're old enough to drink coffee. <laughs> Fort Wynn. That's funny. Um, let's see. Fort Wynn said, I have QQQ, Jep Y, and IWNY, so I hope they do outstanding. Like I said, Feppy is more, more for peace of mind. Fabi's good for a base fund. They take dev divi and invest in high yield. Yeah, a lot of people like uh, Fabi. Um, uh, Fabi is Joanna core fund. So if those who know Joanna, Joanna's our regular here, and she. <laughs> Jet engine who drink blonde coffee. <laughs> He's like, who drink blonde coffee? Yuck, <laughs> yuck. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. 
All right, so one of the reasons why MicroStrategy just exploded to like $700 a share because look at this. In 2023, they were profitable. And and I, I heard they have a really good earning report too. So um, I don't really follow it. The last time I followed was back in October when I didn't know what it was. Like, why did Rexia buy MSTR? What is the reason going to MSTR? And that was the first time I seen this video. I watched this video. And that was the first time I hear about them owning a lot of Bitcoin and stuff. That and back then, back in October last year, Bitcoin was like, you know, people like thought Bitcoin's gonna fail. So, <laughs> also, so as said, MicroStrategy is trying to get into the S and P five hundred. And so that's going to bring another Bitcoin play into everybody's portfolios. Mm -hmm. So Calby, Calby just said they have a dip pouch for coffee. Essentially, you put coffee in your cheek and you use the saliva mm -hmm. to brew the coffee in your mouth. Wow, I didn't know there that's was a dip that's coffee. Crazy. That's crazy. I, didn't, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, anybody dip before? So I tried dipping. Well, oh. all right. Whatever you do when you go when you dip, don't dip when you're in a seven ton. Or back then it was a five ton. A five ton is a truck, military truck. Well, I you know I was just a young. I was I, I think I was like young Lance Corporal E three. So you're essentially two years in the in the military, and uh, we were in Twenty Nine Palm and it was hot as hell. And the driver he was all about dipping. He chew he take his tobacco. He would he would shake it up, knock it, and then he would put the whole he, he would put a whole pouch of that in, and all you see is all you see is this, and he, and he would talk like that, and and like, he would put the whole thing in his mouth, and he just chew on it, and and so you know I, I was his a driver, so he's like, hey man, uh, you wanna you wanna try? I'm like, sure, yeah, I, I never I never dipped before, and. If you never dip before and you're not a smoker, what do you think happened when your nicotine hit you and it hit you fast? You get a headache. Oh yeah, and then the truck is moving. <laughs> oh. And it's a seven ton truck. And uh, yeah, those in the military know exactly what I'm talking about. Military truck, the big truck that towed things around. And it's moving and it's 29 palm and a dozen and he's going fast. And he's enjoying it like, woohoo! Of course not by this time turning green. And he was like, dude, you look like you're gonna sick, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to puke. And he was like, I'm going to get you to puke, puke, puke. So he's driving faster and making jump over. He was just, for him, I was just, I was dying. I was the whole time like, oh, my God. I'm seeing, like, I was I was literally turning green. Uh, yeah, oh, I puke everything. Every MREs in my food. And he was just standing there laughing. And then afterward, afterward, he gave me a big hug. He said, hey, welcome to the community, man. <laughs> Everybody gone through this. I still go through it. I still get sick. I, you know, you just get immune to it. And and he said the problem is that he's so addicted to the tobacco that that it it doesn't even affect him anymore. Like when he put it in his mouth, it, it it like his body just be accustomed to it. It doesn't affect him. And you know, so it's just like for him, it's just like chewing gum. It's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, uh so kobe said yeah fully loaded dry coffee energy pout they went viral yesterday because tiger Woods was seen using them in his golf event what the heck i've been i've been to guatemala where i chew on coffee beans and that's a rush wow i never done that before um Yo, know, when you go to afghanistan when you see the poppy seed growing the uh, the patty yeah, that's when, uh, that's that's some real, that's a big deal right there. That's a big deal. All right, let me put some music here because we, uh, we are lacking on music. Now, I, so guys, for those who just join in, uh, I do live streaming every Sunday and every Thursday. And um, this live stream is mainly for the European guy and the Asian market. So you see a lot of Asian people watching this and you know some from Hong Kong from Middle East from Saudi Arabia um, and 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 there's Hong from 
There's Hong from Iowa. Iowa is not Asia, man. <laughs> Dude, you must be like the only Asian person in Iowa. What what is it like to be an Asian person in Iowa? I'm just curious. What what is that like? What what's it? Oh my god, I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. All right. Uh, I take fifth on the question, Fort Wynn. Oh, wait, what he said? Uh, Fort Wynn. Co Coke? Coffee? Um, yeah, I missed the conversation on Civil Line. One thing I like about Saturday stream when it's just chill like this, we're just drinking and just hanging out. Um, I'm, I, can, I can read the YouTube. I have time to read the YouTube. I never have time to read the YouTube comments. Hi. What happened to my music? All right, here we go. All right, let's go back to where we were talking about earlier. So, we were, we were talking about Tesla, the beauty of Tesla, you know, and now a lot of people think like, you know, I'm trying to promote this particular brand or anything like that. I'm not promoting anything, man. I, 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 what I'm looking for is whatever company give me the most income, I'm gonna talk about it. But it's not that many. So you're, you're essentially talking about the same thing over and over again. It's just, there's not that many. Here's all, here's all the one out there. Uh, you can talk, you know, and then there's Defiance, there's other stuff, you know, there's, and there's Clip. They, they're just not that many. So if you're gonna come into the high yield dividend space, you're gonna end up repeating yourself a lot. And then not only that, your customer base is very small. The, the group that go after high yield dividend are very, very small, right? And and so this is not this is not a sexy place for a YouTuber. This is not a sexy place to make money if you wanna, uh, because it's just a small group, a very niche group. And, um, but lucky for me, I don't really care about the YouTube part. So I'm, I'm just all, t I just want, I, I'm trying to figure a way to make my portfolio better. That's all it. Is your portfolio everything or do you have money somewhere else? Uh, Yancey, I have I have money somewhere else. Uh, why why Yancey, yes. The answer is yes, I have money somewhere else. I, I only have this brokerage account And so this is this is it. This is my portfolio. Now let me go back to the summary page. Uh, let me go back to the investment page. Let me go to the investment page. I'll show you. So in the investment page, it showed that I have eight thousand dollars of income. All right. I have only six thousand dollars of income. I I only have six thousand dollars income. But why does it show I have eight thousand dollar income? Because it only I'm only showing my I'm only showing my fire account. But for whatever reason, they pull the other account into this calculation, and I don't know how to separate that yet. Uh, I use this setting to separate the other account. The other account in my child Schwab is for tax reason. That answered the tax question. Those people want to know about tax. Like, how am I paying tax? There's three methods I'm paying tax. Currently, I'm paying monthly payments right now to the IRS. I'm paying money. I'm still paying that since since 2018. The house that I sold in 2018, I make so much profit, I'm still paying that tax. So every tax that come after 2018, I just pile on to that. But it's the original tax, the original payment was from 2018. That's how profitable that, that, that property was, all right? And so that's one, that's one income. So I pay taxes to that method. 
The second method I pay taxes because I have a salary, I do it to W-4. Most of you know as W-2. W-4 is what the employer take out. And I make about $10,000 a month for my, my salary, my job, as a government employee. But 40% of that, or about 4,000 of that, it go right into taxes. That's in addition, so I'm sorry, let's do it this way. Uh, $10,000, about 2,000 of which is going into something else. 2,000 of which is going to something else. Like, like uh, FICA, FICA, uh, you know, I, don't, I can't think of it. In Social Security, um, uh, my retirement plan, my TSP retirement plan. You know, 2,000 of which is gone. It's just going to, and federal tax, the, the normal federal tax. In addition to that, I have a $4,000 withdrawal from my account. $4,000 withdrawal from my account to go into taxes. And essentially, I take home like $2,000. That's it. Like, I don't take home that much. And uh, that's what's left over. And that's what I live off. You know, I just live off that. And, and so, and they're like, dude, where do you get the money to, to pay everything else? That's why I said I have other source of income. And uh, so that's why I'm, but that's how I solve the tax problem. I just pay, because my tax bracket is so high it, that, that I just do that method. The other method is just wait until like, I'm gonna go to the tax place here soon. I just, cut, they're gonna tell me how much I pay and then I just put it part of my monthly payment and I just pay it. Yeah, there's nothing you're gonna do. All the cream, you wanna say something? Oh, no, I'm just listening. All right. Uh, so there's a question on 69,000 margin. All right, let's talk about that. Yeah. Uh, 60, uh, margin, anytime you take loan, it's a risk. I will never ever gonna tell you uh, that is safe. I will never ever tell you that it's okay. I will never ever tell. Matter of fact, everything you do in the world of investment is risk. You buy a baseball card is a risk. You buy a comic book is a risk. You buy sneakers is a risk because somebody's gonna jump you and take your sneaker. All right. So if you're gonna make money, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It's gonna be risk. So if you're a gold miner, the the forty nine back in the day, and you're trying to get you know gold from the stream, and you're you're just trying to get gold from the stream. And if you if you yell out, I found gold, there's a hundred thousand there's a hundred people that's gonna jump you when you go to the bar and try to get a drink. Yeah, somebody's gonna jump you and, and, and so and the word investment come with risk. Heavy risk. Some are low risk, but it's risk. Buying comic books is risk. Just think about it. I already told you the example of buying sneakers is a risk. Yeah, buy a sneaker, buying Air Jordan for a thousand dollar. It's it's what what a great investment. I love I love Air Jordan. I travel to Korea looking for the perfect Air Jordan, or looking for a Louis Vuitton bag for my girl. I love it. I love those I love those items. I love those gears. I, I want to get her a nice bag. But that come with risk because somebody's gonna jump you and take your Air Jordan. Somebody's gonna jump you and take you a Louis Vuitton bag. So understand that. Understand that I'm never going to tell you that if you if you go into this field, you're going to be risk. But the question is, what kind of risk? Tolerance level. I came from rental property, man. If you want to be a successful property owner, you want to be a successful rental property, you're going to be a million dollar in debt. I can promise you that. Anybody here is a rental property? Uh, anybody here is a landlord? There's no such thing as a $50,000 home and you expect to make a thousand dollars a month. It doesn't exist. <laughs> if you want to make a thousand dollars a month, you're gonna to have to buy the building, the apartment, the home that is worth more than that is gonna worth a lot. A lot more than, than fifty thousand dollars. Unless unless somebody buy in a very distressed situation. I need to sell it now. I'm a druggy junkie. My and my grandma just died. And she gave me this property. Then you probably can haggle for fifty thousand dollars. But 
you don't want your tenant to live in a fifty thousand dollar home either. Yeah, so so this risk that come with everything. All right, so let's talk about this margin. So to help answer the question, uh, so Fort Wynn said sixty nine thousand dollar here is it? This is different. It's not like a loan. If you borrow sixty nine thousand dollar through your P loan, personal loan, or H loan, which is the home loan, using your home as a collateral, the sixty nine thousand dollar it's extremely risky. If you take these loans and then you go and buy um, a motorcycle, if I buy sixty-nine thousand dollars a boat, that's horrible. That's 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 a. Uh, there's no return on it. If I take sixty-nine thousand dollars and buy a Tesla Model Three, there's no return on that. If I take the sixty-nine thousand dollars and buy. Uh, buy your girlfriend a diamond ring. There is some return on it. She may give you love, but that's it. There's no, there's no financial return on this thing. But if you take sixty-nine thousand dollar and buy, and buy high yield dividends income, there is a return on it. This money here generate me two thousand. Technically, I don't make six thousand dollars a month. I only make four thousand dollars a month. That two thousand dollar is coming from this coming from this portfolio. That's what I'm getting. If I sell everything, if I sell everything and and, and if I sell $69,000 worth of stuff, this income here is going to drop to $4,000. But because I want to speed up the process, I want to make money quicker, that's why I do it. I borrow, I essentially bought, I made a $2,000, $2,500 income 500 which is going to pay the margin pay back the interest every month at the end of the month they charge me five hundred dollars six hundred dollar and then i just pay with that with that dividends i just pay with the dividend it just it just think of like a block the sixty nine thousand dollar when when your dividend pay it expand out and then when 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 once you pay uh, I'm sorry. Sixty-nine thousand. I, I did the opposite direction. Sixty-nine thousand is blocked. When when you when you get dividends, when you get dividends, the money go back down. Eventually, you're gonna go down to zero. Every time you get money, every time you put money, it's gonna keep going down and down and down. You get the block. That, that sixty-nine thousand getting smaller and smaller. But and as long as I don't, as long as I buy anything, didn't matter what I buy, that. That dividend, uh, that is going to come back up. It's going to come back up. So, the best way, the, the only way you don't move this, if I put a thousand dollar in, that's going to move up to seventy thousand, and then I spend that thousand dollar, it's going to move back to sixty nine dollar, or sixty nine thousand. I put a thousand in, it go to seventy thousand. I spend that seven thousand and that one thousand dollar, it go back to sixty nine. It's just, it's just a block. That Charles Schwab is like a partnership with you with Charles Schwab. That's all. That uh, that's. It's not the same as loan. So that's why it, it, it is scary. Okay. So if somebody said, should I do it? No, I, I don't recommend it. Uh, I don't recommend it because you, uh, you, you don't have the experience to do that enough. If you're asking, if you if you think margin is scary. Then I saying that you are not ready for it. You are not ready. You have to go into margin knowing exactly what you're doing. You don't want to go to margin. Well, I saw this guy on YouTube video and he's doing it. And maybe I should try it out. No, that's the wrong way. That's like that's like you going to the Marine Corps recruiting station and say I want to join the Marine Corps because the uniform look cool, and maybe I can get some ladies. And the recruiter is going to look at you and laugh at you. Yeah, our uniform is cool and you will get ladies, but you're not ready to be a Marine. I missed out on that benefit. <laughs> the uniform and the ladies cool? <laughs> yeah, I'm, going, I'm calling the, uh, what is it, the veteran affairs and complaining, putting a complaint in. <laughs> you say you're going to go complain? <laughs> yeah, so... 
that's it's not the same so if you're not ready for margin okay so what okay i didn't i didn't i didn't play margin from the beginning the reason i couldn't play it because i had no margin <laughs> i had i had like fifty thousand dollar in my portfolio i had zero margin because none of my fun none of my fun gave me any margin none of them but now Tesla gave me margin clip gave me margin so therefore i can use it but how i once i get once i get margin uh, w once I get the loan loan amount, I I was able to use it. But w when I use it, the first time I use it, I use it for target of opportunity. A good example, a good example. Let's just go and test it out. We know that Coney is coming up. Like Coney is, if you if you if you have no idea what's going on in the world of investment, I just want to let you know Coney is going for a run. Coin. Coin is based on coin. Coin is going for a run, all right? They're going up. Look at that. It's a straight up, uh, it's a 60 degree angle going up. That's Coinbase. And then BTC, do I have BTC in here? Nope. Uh, I got to go to uh, Yahoo. And, and Coinbase is essentially BTC. BTC is crypto, Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is like breaking fifty thousand dollar. That is why all these things is going up for a run. All right. So if you if you if you've been in the sand the whole time, then then yeah, I can't help you because you're you need you need to read the news. You need to find out what's going on in the world or what you're investing. But you all we both know that that Coney is coming up. It's on the rise. All right. And Coney paid two dollars. Two dollars, one dollar, one dollar. Look, look. I mean, this is a lot of money. This is a lot of money for a twenty-two, twenty-dollar stock. Is a lot of money. My average for Coney is twenty-one dollar and forty-four cents. I make nine hundred forty dollars right now. I make almost a thousand dollars right now, just by by buying. I have five hundred share. So you, so this is how you use a margin, all right, Coney. As, as, as an example, just an example, right? If you wait until I get paid by Tesla, because part of my money come from Tesla. So Tesla is second week, the second week of March. It came out the same time as Coney. What do you think the price is a month from now? It's probably gonna be like $27. This is, this is where you can use your margin. This is how it can help you. You, I know I'm going to get paid by clip at the end of this month. And I know I'm going to get uh, QQY, RWNY at the beginning of the week. So that's $2,000 plus my contribution, that's $1,500. So about $3,500 between now and Tesla payment. And then Tesla is going to give me uh, another $3,000. All right. So six thousand dollar, six thousand, almost seven thousand dollar, between now until Tesla payments. Well, what I can do is because I want to buy it now, I could just buy a thousand dollar right now. That's the clip money that I'm about to receive in two weeks. That's how you use it. So essentially, let's say this is zero. Go ahead and take a thousand dollar and buy it out of the margin and buy it now while the price is twenty three dollar. And then kabam, you got it. That's it. So when clip get paid, guess where the money go? It go right into the margin and it will be zero. As if you were to buy it at two weeks from now, at the end of the month. Not even two weeks, like a week something in the end of the month. That's how I use margin. I did that for a long, long time. From July all the way until October. All right. How I use margin now is a little bit different. Now my margin, I'm using it to generate income which is different from opportunistic, opportunistic margin. And you can't do that until you get at least over 50,000. And you don't want to do what I'm doing unless you have over $100,000 of margin or more. Remember they pay like four to one or three to one. So if at $50,000, let's just, let me pull up the PowerPoint so you can kind of see, give me a second. So you kind of have an idea. This is what I like about Saturday. Saturday, I can deep dive into these things, and I have no—I'm not worried about it. You know, like I, I will go deep into the conversation 
to explain a very niche thing so you can understand it. Give me a second, I'm opening the PowerPoint right now. Okay, there it is. Uh, let me make new slide. All right, insert text. All right, so you have fifty thousand dollar of margin. All right, availability. spell availability come on spell checker there we go all right fifty thousand margin what you want to spend is essentially uh you want to spend essentially twenty thousand uh you want to spend twenty thousand dollars all right so twenty five thousand would be half so you're spending roughly forty percent all right why twenty thousand dollars Because here's a stock you want to buy. Let's say, for example, IWMY. IWMY costs, let me go over and find how much it costs. IWMY uh, closing price on Friday was $18.20. Price, all right? So to get a thousand share, you need roughly eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand two hundred for a thousand share, and one thousand share is equal to time a dollar twenty nine cents. But we can use one dollar on the average. Let's just use the average of one dollar. You're gonna get one thousand dollar. All right. So if you own IWY, you need, you will need, you will need uh, eighteen thousand dollar and twenty cents, two hundred dollar, to get a thousand dollars a month. So for example, in my portfolio, I have six thousand dollars a month. And you want to you want to increase that monthly payment to seven thousand. You want to receive seven thousand a month. This month I receive six thousand. Next month I receive seven thousand. Let's just assume that my margin is zero right now, and I want to I want to use the margin. This is how I use it. I'm going to borrow twenty thousand dollar, which is forty percent, forty percent of the, my total margin, and I'm going to use that to buy eighteen dollars wood of IWM. And that will give me one thousand dollars. That's one thousand dollars. So I have six thousand right now. Plus one thousand dollar. That's equal to about seven thousand a month. Now, remember, the $6,000 fluctuate depending on what Tuskly payout, what the dividend payout. This could be plus or minus, but $7,000 a month. $7,000 a month, all right? I want you to think about it. I'm, I'm using my portfolio. You, you can do this on your portfolio, all right? This is my portfolio. $7,000 a month. But in three, mo in three months, how much it take to get to... to uh, how much you get to take to work? Twenty-one thousand. So seven thousand times three months, I will get, I will get twenty-one thousand dollars. Oh, you guys can't see it. I'm sorry. I'm doing this whole thing and you can't see it. Uh, Discord. I apologize for that. 
So you're gonna get $21,000 in three months. So right now is February. If I buy, if I use $20,000 right now uh, and I buy IWNY, next month my monthly payment will go up to $7,000. It's $1,000 plus my $6,000 current. It'll go up to $7,000. And then, in three months from that, in three months from that, I will get another thousand dollar. That will be eight thousand dollars. So pretty much, think about it. Every three months, I just have to buy either R W and Y, or buy something that's pay roughly one dollar. And the price is under twenty dollar. So if, uh, at least under twenty one thousand dollar. So every three months, any stock that's under twenty one thousand dollar that pay a dollar will give me a thousand dollar. That's including buying IWMY again. And and you and you every, so every three months you get a thousand dollar. Now this math can be confusing because I'm using my numbers, but if let's say you're just starting out and you're using no one number, so your monthly payment is one thousand dollar. You take twenty thousand dollar by IWMY, you're gonna get a thousand dollar automatically. Okay, so then you gotta pay back your loan. So, uh, so how long does it take to get another thousand dollar? In this case, it would be twenty-four months or twenty, uh, eighteen months. But since the price fluctuate, so I'm just gonna make it like nineteen months. Just make it's gonna take me nineteen months. Almost two year and a half, over a year and a half. If I just do a thousand dollar, and then and I buy IWY. But if you if you take and then you have to pay back, which is about thirteen percent interest, eleven to thirteen percent. I don't know what my is. I didn't care. I didn't care at all. I didn't even look at the numbers. So whatever child swap charge you. That's annual compound. So you take, you take a thousand dollar time point, you know, one three. That's how much it costs annually. Divide that by three hundred sixty-five. It charge you every day. So essentially, I'm paying like, you know, I don't know, a dollar a day or three dollar a day or something like that. If I, you know, like, I'm paying like essentially like a dollar a day. Um, a little more than a dollar a day. It's like two dollars a day. I'm essentially I'm paying uh, math in my head. I'm essentially paying about two dollars a day on on a sixty nine thousand dollar loan. Roughly, roughly two dollars a day. Two dollar time. Oh no, it can't be more. Like twenty dollars a day. Got to be twenty dollars a day. Yeah, wow, my math is kind of all jacked up. I'm, I'm do, doing math in my head. So about, about $20 a day for $69,000 loan. So at a $20,000 loan, you're paying roughly $200. But remember I told you, you made, you made $1,000 a month. $1,000 a month. So what you take home is essentially eight hundred dollar. That's what you take home. Not eight thousand, eight hundred dollar. All right. So a fifty thousand dollar margin, you borrow forty percent, twenty thousand dollar, and you take that to buy IWMY at eighteen dollar price. You get you will get a thousand dollar of income, right? Every month you get a thousand dollar, and the monthly payment is to to make it break even. You're gonna you take you 19 months, but either way you're gonna get a thousand dollar month for the for, for for the rest of your life, roughly plus or minus. The cost to to pay that thousand dollar 
is a two hundred dollars a month, but you're really gonna get eight hundred dollars. That's it. That's your profit. You're spending somebody else's money. You're taking twenty thousand dollars from Charles Schwab money, not your money, the loan. You're buying IWMY for a thousand share at eighteen twenty. That'll give you a thousand dollars a month. That thousand dollar month minus the interest fee, which is two hundred dollars, and you'll t you profit eight hundred dollars. That's why I do this. That's why I'm comfortable with $69,000 loan. I hope that kind of clarify and explain that little bit. All right, let me go back and read chat because I haven't read the chat since I started explaining. Kamea, what are your thoughts on plan for QQY, JEPY, IWNY, if we enter a bear market or have another black swan event and the market tanks? That's a good question, Kobe. Well, we'll answer after this one. The 69,000 margin, I'm too chicken to take a margin. That's that's what we're talking about now. I could live off that 7,900 a month. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can. For anyone that use a Webull as a trading platform, I'm on there as well as Civilize. I gave, I give TA analysts and tell people about st stock I'm getting in. I call SMCR at 423 and made bank recently. I don't know what that means. Why Yancy, I finally hit 1,000 a month, trying to see how long it takes to get 2,000 a month. Yeah, getting $1,000 a month of dividend is a journey. It took me seven months to get that. It took me a long time to get that, right? because I didn't know I didn't know how to, you know, I was just learning it. And now, now it's $1,000 easy. <laughs> like, I don't even look at the, I was like, oh, it's only $1,000? Yeah, I like, it's easy now. Uh, almost thought one share of MSC, okay, 22,000 invested total, yield max buy basically. Adding 3,000 a month plus 1,000 dividends, so contributing about 4,000 a month. That's awesome. Uh, Fort Win, why not Why not pay a little more like 1,000 a month to pay the margin interest plus the base? I day trade Coney and I'm telling you that the day before X dividend date, I collect dividends. To, a, to be a good day trader, you really have to be at the top of your game. Yeah, Silver Liner, totally agree. I'm not I'm not a day trader, so I'm, I'm an investor. Have to bring my Coney holding to 250. Uh, we just got Coney. Day trading dividend stock is a win. Winning strategy. I have nearly a thousand follow on Weibo and it's growing daily. Uh, no disagreeing, Silver Liner. I, I, I don't know, I, I don't do it, so good luck, you know, yeah, God bless you. When do you when do you plan to pay back the margin? Do you plan to keep it open indefinitely? All right, let me finish the the margin question. All right, so this is the margin question, and uh, and that's how I pay. Okay, so let's go back. This is the PowerPoint. Let's go back to the uh, spreadsheet. Let me switch. Uh, not the spreadsheet. The uh, my Charles Schwab account. I don't know why it doesn't show. Oh, did I close it? Oh, I thought I closed it, but that's why it didn't pop up. All right, so this is my child swap account again. Um, and um, what was the question uh, to close the margin? Uh, or when I'm gonna pay back, oh hey. So this is how I'm gonna pay back the loan. There's, there's three ways to pay back this margin. You can. Every dividend you receive, just put it back in there. Just don't buy anything. Really, don't buy anything. I just don't buy anything for 10 months. I will, it will pay it off because I have $6,000 in income. Just don't buy anything for six months. It will, it will pay off. And on days that Tesla pay like 50 cents or 60 cents, I'm gonna make, instead of 3,000, I'll make 4,000 or 5,000. Then it's gonna move up even faster because now I'm putting $8,000 a month you know, five to eight thousand dollars a month into my uh, my margin. So the one way is just dividend and pay it off. All right. The other way to do it is what I'm doing right now is I, I don't worry about it because this amount I don't need to pay it off. This amount is giving me is giving me two thousand dollars a month. I don't worry about it. So I'm going to take my money, my dividends, and I'm going to grow my portfolio here. My 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 common stocks. My common stock increase in price. My income stock does not increase in price. Coney is doing 
doing well, it's increased in price. But majority of time, it's going to be red. It's just like this. It's just going to be red. But it's generating me income. It's going to go up and down. Some days green, some days red. You know, like, like Coney is green right now. It's all depend when I enter the market. If I enter the market, Coney, at $30, guess what? It's going to be red. But I enter the market and it's at $21. Well, guess what? This thing going to be green. When Tesla go up to $12, guess what? This thing is going to be green. It's going to be green a lot. It's going to be green by like almost, uh, you know, $14,000. Like the opposite direction. Not 14, like 1,400 at least. Because I have 7,500 share right now. Yeah, it, it's it's just, that's the market driving. So what happens, so one way to do it is to pay the margin. The second way to do it is grow a fast moving, like SoFi. So if SoFi is 10X and I own, let's say a thousand share, yeah, this is gonna move fast. If Tesla go up, it's gonna move really fast. So if Tesla is $300 and Rivian go up, it's gonna move really fast. So eventually, Let's say I put thirty thousand. Uh, let's say I put forty thousand dollar on it. This is my, uh, this is my growth play. I put forty thousand dollar and it gave me. Oh, let's say I put thirty thousand and gave me twenty percent. The twenty thousand dollar. That's like forty percent. I don't know. And it grow fifty thousand dollar. Well, once about once I reach about fifty thousand or sixty, I can sell all that and that will pay off the margin. So essentially, what I do is the opposite. I will grow this. And and once I grow it. And then when I'm ready to sell it, I would, I would just pay the margin. That's, that's you know, another, another thing for margin too. So how I use margin is I have, um, I'm just actively depositing into the account too. So, you know, if you, if you're really risk adverse, you can yeah. just use like 10% of it, like, or just go with whatever you're putting in a month. Yeah. And basically every month you'll be down, you'll have a hundred percent of, you'll own a hundred percent of your account. Basically you won't have leveraged anything. And then every month, if it's a good buying opportunity, use another 10% or 20% or something like that. But if you're just, if you're actively like, like every paycheck or whatever, you're getting deposits in there. You mean that's a safe, use of margin too, right? You could buy on a day when it's down and you know your deposit's gonna hit in two days, it doesn't make a difference, right? You're gonna make, the interest will be like four cents or something like that. When you, it's not even, it'll be negligible. Yeah. You. D different way of doing things. Different way of doing things, you know. And uh, and just this is this is how I gonna play it and how I'm gonna I'm gonna set it off, man. Absolutely. I mean, e even if people were like wanted to do all high yielding funds in a margin account too, and they were afraid of the market going down, I mean, just just use ten percent of your. It, that's all they have to do, right? You're just using a little bit of it. It's not gonna. Yeah. For those for, the, for, the, for those who just joined, Analyk is right. Just use small amount. But remember, I told you this when you first when I first start talking about margin. It says, any time that you invest in anything, baseball card, comic books, any as as, as soon as you invest, there's element of risk that come into play. If you don't, if you are so afraid of risk, then don't get out of the house. Don't go. Don't leave the house. Yeah. You drive is a risk. There's a, there's a risk to your life. There's an element of risk, the world that we live in. And you're like, what risk buying comic books and baseball card? Oh yeah, back in the day, I got jumped for owning a Roger Clemens baseball card. Somebody jumped me and tried to take my Roger Clemens baseball card. I'd rather tear the baseball card than give it over to the bully. Yeah, I got jumped for that. That's why I tell you that. Sneaker, you wear sneaker in my neighborhood, you're gonna get jumped. You wear an Air Jordan, <laughs> You're gonna get jumped. It's a risk. Everything you do, if you invest in something, it's gonna be a risk. So understand that, all right? Uh, so this is this risk is just any other risk. It's just high. There's a higher risk and a lower risk. That's all it is. Yeah, I think a lot of the, the horror stories come when you know all you hear about is oh people leveraging 
their money using options yeah. and buy you know just not even doing covered calls but buying do ba- uh, what is it like basically what yield max does right yeah. but they're they're not managing it and or they're day trading and leveraging and then they think it's going to go up and the thing tanks and you know they just put their account in negative a uh, hundred thousand dollars or whatever yeah but you don't hear about like you know you typically hear about the positives of it right you don't hear about oh you can get around you know if it's down 20 you know and you need 20 bucks or something like that or something small right you don't they don't talk about that they talk about the horror stories yeah so totally agree but this is this is a this is a method how i do it all right you can do any method you want. It's your portfolio. Remember, I, I'm going to keep stressing that. This is my portfolio. You do your portfolio. You do you the way you want to see fit. I'm just talking about it as, you know, and and if you see something you like, great. If you don't see, you know, some light, then do do it on your own and apply that. And then we'll, we'll talk about it, you know, debate here, you know, have a conversation here. Um, but if you... I, I welcome any debate, any conversation, but understand that you're not going to change my mind. No one in this world can change my mind except God, my mom, and my girl. All right. Other than that, good luck. So, uh, I hope that answered that question. And then, all right, let's go to the next one, which I, I say I'm going to answer his question. All right. So, somebody asked about a black swan situation let me go back to that question see if I can find it who is the one to ask me about black swan situation I gotta find it the question now all right uh, coffee uh, 69 margin chicken all right here we go uh, this is by Colby Colby you still there um, if you if you come to Discord, it's much easier to have conversation with you than than trying to answer in text message in YouTube chat. This is why I don't like to go and debate in the uh, in the video comment section. There was a guy, I don't know who he is, but there's a guy who said, I I tried to teach him about investment. Dude, you're not teaching me about investment if you're posting comments in YouTube channel. That's not teaching somebody about investment. If you want to teach somebody about investment, you got to come on Discord and have a conversation with me. Preferably, I would like to sit and have a coffee and look at you in the eye as man to man. That's how I do business, as a man to man, not not over over over, you know, streamlined communication. And then we'll talk about it. But otherwise, you're not teaching me. You're not teaching me anything. So because you post comment, that's not teaching, right? Uh, I I just put a happy face, a smile. I say, okay, copy. I don't even read it sometimes. And then if you say something negative, I just ban you. It, it's it, it's comments on a video. That's not teaching. You want to teach somebody, have a conversation with that person. And then and there's Amber. All right. So Kamea, what are your thoughts or plan with QQY, JetY, RWI if they enter a bear market or have another black swan event in, and the market tanks? Okay, I don't know what a black swan thing is, but let's let's Google it. He say black swan. It's like a total crash. Uh, apparently, black swan is a movie, starring <laughs> starring uh, <laughs> yeah starring the go from Star Wars. Black swan means like a massive like crash in the market, so that's what that means. All right, so like like a COVID situation. Yeah, like a COVID crash. All right. A black swan is an unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation has potentially severe consequences. Black swan events are characterized by the extreme, rarity, severe impact, and widespread in- instantness. They were obvious in hindsight. All right. Interesting. So black swan is not the movie. <laughs> okay. So... Here's my, it's just, it go into those risk category. If it's a black swan incident, the entire market's going down. It's not just, is there such thing as a black swan just for Tesla? Only, uh, only affect that. Tesla? Like, 
Is there such thing as a black swan for Tesla, the, the company? It'd have to go bankrupt. Yeah. So a black swan is 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 the market, the entire system. That's right. They're talking about the system is crashing. Yeah. Not not an individual company. Okay. <clears throat> Dude, if the entire system crashing, it's relative to, to everybody else. It's relative. If if the market's down 70%, your stock should be down 70%. So is that boy's stocks, so is that girl's stocks, and so is IBM, Coca-Cola, and every other company. They're all down 70%. It's it's relative to, to everything, to to the entire... Does, does that make sense? So the question is, what happened if a black swan incident and you're not able to generate... Okay, so that's a good question. I don't know. I, I don't know until I went through it, until I go through it, and I can tell you. Who, who, uh, whoever went through it, please let me know. But here's what Kenny told me because he went through the COVID situation. Kenny got rich during COVID. He didn't get rich prior to COVID. He didn't get rich after COVID. He get rich during COVID because he does option trading. For those who's an option trader, the black swan situation was gold mine. Was gold mine. Gold was gold. The reason why it was gold, because it create degree of uncertainty and volatility. And guess what? The option premium was expensive. To get out of it, so think of a, you're, 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 the fund, you're the hedge fund manager for the New York City Teacher Union. And you have their retirement plan, which is worth about a trillion dollars in your portfolio manage, to manage. All right? About a trillion dollar. I don't know. I don't know how many. I'm just making it up. All right? A trillion dollar of teaching union. And you don't want to screw this up because it's the teaching union. But you own all these fun that is coming down rapidly hard. And you want to protect yourself. And guess what? Guess what? That's all premium. You're going to buy insurance. And you're going to hedge anything right now. You're going to buy premium and it's going to cost you it's going to cost you maybe a billion dollar just to protect yourself maybe 10 billion dollars just to protect yourself that's all premium that's what i learned so far about cover call strategy income strategy so so a black swan situation there's potential that we actually make more money all the yield max now the re the price will go down. The price will go down because everybody's going down. It, it will go back to nine dollar, eight dollar, ten dollar, whatever the the black swan until it ends. The entire economic system, the stock value, will all go down because Tesla's going down, Microsoft going down, Google going down, the underlying stocks going down. So therefore, all those things go down. But the premium, the income, the monthly income that you get, two dollar, one dollar, this right here. Like when you look at Coney, the this dividend, it's two dollars, two dollars. No, it's gonna be like four dollar, five dollars. It's gonna be crazy. The premium is gonna be crazy. We're gonna get a lot of money. That's just in theory. There's no way to know unless somebody and unless Kenny is here, he can explain that better because he went through it. Who went through option trading when it was during the COVID era? That's the that's the guy you need to ask. And now yeah, I did a little bit. You you did? Yeah, this was Rob. Yeah. Were you making money? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I actually set out a good month while it was going down because I'm not a big put trader. But then I pretty much caught the bottom and was buying call options and writing it back up because these stocks got hit down so bad. So e either way, you would have made money if you would have been buying puts. You wrote it down, buying calls when it bottomed out, wrote it back up. So. Yeah. But it was, I made good money. There you go. There's an example right there. So yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, first of all, are you, no, are, you Rob, say, are you Rob stuff? Or are you, are you just Rob? No, I'm just Rob. All right. But there's two Rob. Yeah. Now. Cause like, <laughs> um, this, this, and this is what's crazy. What happened because I, my, um, 
I got my butt handed to me on one trade, and literally this was on a. I can't. I can't remember the. Day, I don't know if it was in February or March of that year. For some reason, I went in and I bought calls on the triple Q. And m Monday or Tuesday, I had like five grand invested. My money was gone because that's when the market literally dumped. Yeah. You know, I mean, it crashed bad. And I'm like, you know what? So I just literally, like I said, that's when I sat out. And then when I seen things were bottoming out, I got back in and slowly started buying calls and writing things back up. So that's awesome, man. Th thanks for sharing this information. Yo, oh, you're welcome. I mean, like I said, you've helped me out with a lot of stuff since I've been talking to you the past three weeks here. Um, no, I, I, no, no. Th this channel, that's what we talking about. I'm like I said, I'm not an yeah. expert. I'm just having yeah. a conversation with people like you, and that's yeah. essentially it. We th this 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 channel is built on conversation. It's not built on me telling you my professional experience. I, I man, and if you take that to the bank. God bless you, man. Why, why would you do that? First of all, I'm a YouTuber who had no experience in finance, and you're going to take my word for it. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about in general, you know, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. but now, like, because not my expertise. Now, if I was an auto mechanic or something, and we're talking about auto, well, yeah, then, then maybe I have some saying. I'm not a financial guy. I'm just, I'm just you and I having conversation about these things. I'm, I'm just looking at it from, from my opinion. You know what I mean? I'm just providing my yeah. feedback. Yeah. So a lot of people look at my investment channel. They always think that I'm giving all these advices and talk about. No, I'm talking about my portfolio, not your portfolio. And I'm just we're having conversation, and we this is what we like. It's like I like a I like a I like a Ford Mustang, and you like a Corvette. Okay, it's a, or you like a, a Diablo. You know, great Hemi, great Hemi. You know, I like Ford Mustang. You like a Hemi Diablo. Great vehicle, both competitive, both can generate a thousand horsepower. You know, modify. Dude, it's just it's just different way. I'm just we just whole having conversation, talking about things like this. No, yeah, no, I appreciate Rob. I uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I, you're I, welcome. I don't know. I don't know what happened until it happened, and then and then I can tell you. But I'm not worried about yeah. it. Yeah. Based on what yeah. people are talking about, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, I don't know if you remember me telling you first time I I talked to you on your uh, Discord that, you know, I started trading back in 1998. You know, doing options, but. I, like I said, I never, I mean, I've seen some bad crashes over the year, but that, what happened during COVID, that was just outrageous. And that's why it scared me and I, I sat out because after losing that five grand, I had tied up in the triple Qs, you know what? I'm like, it's not worth it. So, and I, like I said, I could have made a fortune if I bought puts and wrote everything down, but it was just my choice. I wasn't comfortable with it. I'm, I'm more of a person, I'd like to wait for the market to bottom out and then you know, write it back up with call options or buying just shares of stock. Yeah. It's basically called a fire sale. You know, you go in and you sweep it up and, you know, write it back up. Yeah. Um, it's good stuff, I don't man. See, and, the, and, and with the, you know, with the black swan, you know, you, you always hear about it. I mean, it would, it would literally take something devastating for that to happen in the market right now or some kind of catastrophic event so i know people always worry about it but you can't you know it's it's like living day to day you can't worry about if you're going to go out and get in your car and get in an accident that's foolish you know you, you and, trade and, well like i i trade what i see and that's the way my you know what i go by yeah um, i will laugh I my could, butts off if i'm still generating ten thousand dollars a month so here, here I, I actually look at this QYLD. QYLD been around for a long, long time. When was when was COVID? It was like twenty something uh, January. Two, th well, I think like yeah, two thousand twenty. Uh, I don't know, was it twenty twenty one? It started. Yeah. I, I can't even All remember. Right. Somewhere around January. The summer is when like COVID hit China. So January yep. all the way until like somewhere around to June. All right, look at look at look at how QYLD income twenty three dollar eighteen dollar when it hit hot here nineteen dollar twenty dollar twenty dollar twenty one dollar twenty two dollar and it's became twenty dollar ever since right, for a long time. Look at what prior to that is prior to that it it hit it doesn't hit twenty dollar that many. Uh, it hit twenty dollar I mean I say twenty dollar twenty cents I'm sorry twenty two cents. It hit twenty two cents in August. One, 
it hit 21 cents in June, that's twice. In May, uh, three times. In March, 20 times. In January, five times. So five times in, um, in 2019. But man, February hit 23 cents, and then it went down, and then 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents. So it did the opposite for this particular fund, who does cover call strategy. Why they make so much money? Because the premium went up. Not a lot, it didn't really affect them that much, but they went up. And I bet I bet you can do the same thing in Chepi, J-E-P-I, if you look at, if you look at JPI uh, 2020, it went from 26 cents, 32 cents, 34 cents, 37 cents, 39 cents. One can make argument that the premium went up as a result, it went, it went up. This is probably a bad example. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Look at this number, this, it, it appeared that my, my, my thesis is wrong. <laughs> so there you go. Who am I to say? I, I just speculated. And uh, so Jeopardy is not a good a good example. But you gotta find fun that happened in a time. Did the did the premium go up? Did, did that affect it? You know? Alright, so there's a whole series of, of things. Uh, that's why I'm not too worried about Black Swan as much. Alright. The next question is somebody asked me. Matthew asked me, how high are you taking your margin, I remember. Oh, there is a finite limit, right? All right. Uh, I talk about keeping it at $50,000. Um, now, number one, I reserve the right to change my mind. It's my, it's my portfolio, it's my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Uh, and sometimes I do it just to test it. Like, like, like people ask me, why do you own Palantir? Why do you own Rivian? Or why do you own SoFi? I don't know. I just do it just because I want to test it out and see. I want to learn how to do option trading, all that stuff. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason why YouTube would do things, right? Uh, so, the, so the first thing is I, I reserve the right to change my mind all the time, all the time, right? Because that's how you learn, that's how you grow, that's how you get better. So I, I remember I want to keep at fifty thousand dollar, but the thing was. I'm gonna lose out on the opportunity. Where, where did where did this money? Where did the nineteen thousand dollar went? It went right here in Tesla and Coney. Coney and Tesla. These two is where the nineteen thousand dollar went because they're gonna reverse split, and um, and there was an opportunity for me to buy Tesla at eight dollars and seventy eight cents, eight dollars and seventy two cents. That's where that's a thousand dollar right there. That's eight. That's ten thousand dollar right there. These two, these two prices, and I thought they were not. I and during the time, I thought they they may not come back, come back down again. Of course, it came back down to eight dollars fifty cents a couple of days ago. But guess what? When they reverse split and they do all those things, I have seven thousand five hundred shares. I'm in good position. I just did that just to get to that to that level, and I'm done. I I I, I reached my goal. That's where the nineteen thousand dollar came from. The other one is Coney. I, I increased my Coney. I bought a whole bunch of Coney um, at nineteen dollar. At nineteen dollar, the price to bring my cost average down. Here's four. Here's four thousand dollar. Here's a thousand dollar, and I, I bought these two. And then I bought Tesla. The, the rest of the money I bought Tesla. I bought I bought more Tesla to bring my cost average down. I bought I bought Tesla at one one hundred ninety. I bought Tesla one hundred eighty three. Yeah, so those three is what brought me nineteen dollar. If I if I didn't buy it, then I I will lose. I'm glad I did because guess what? Coney went on a tear. It went up. It went up. All right, so that's why I did it. Okay, so when am I gonna stop? Um. The worst case scenario is I stop at 80%. That means I leave 20% for for margin stuff, for for the market. 20% is essentially $22,000 right here. That's what I leave. But right now, I'm at 60%. Right, 
I just went from 50% to 60%. That's all it is. But remember, every time you buy these things, your margin go up even more. Like I bought Tesla, guess what? My margin went up even more. I buy Tesla, my margin went up even more. So I got my, my margin availability went up. Now if I buy, if I buy SQY, it's 100% margin. So, uh, maintenance, 100% margin maintenance. So therefore, it, nothing went up. My margin didn't go up. You can literally own $100,000 worth, $172,000 worth of asset, and you have zero margin loan capability because you bought stuff that doesn't generate any, that, that have 100% maintenance fee, or 1% margin maintenance. That means you get no money. You get no money. So like, why max 1% maintenance? One, you know, like, yeah, let's, let's click on one of them, so we can see it. Why max? Margin requirement, right? I'm gonna click on margin requirement. It's 100% maintenance. So you can you can own one million dollar wide max one million dollar, and Charles Schwab still not going to give you any loan, zero loan for one million dollar. Yeah, I hope that answered that question. All right, let's go back and uh, read. Can I ask you a question again? Yeah, sure, Rob. Sorry, um, got a, my throat here. Uh, I know you did uh, when Adam O was on the other day. He was showing you his uh, portfolio. Mm -hmm. uh, we had everything, you know, in that uh, lined up and everything. And um, what are your thoughts? Because I know he said like on AMDY, he was breaking down how many shares you would need and then the total investment <clears throat> to have uh, five thousand a month. What do you think about that one? Yeah, let's look at AMDY. I love AMDY. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I like AMD. Holy cow, uh, guys! If if Nvidia is too expensive, take a look at AMD. Yeah. Take a look at AMD. AMD is one hundred seventy-three dollar. Yeah, I trade that stock, so yeah. it's it kind of expensive, but take yeah. a look at it. Uh, AMD Y is going to explode. It, in my opinion, it's going to explode. I mean, it's already exploding. Yeah. One dollar forty-four cents, one dollar four, and one dollar sixty-seven. It's going to be a two-dollar stock again. Two-dollar dividends. It's going to be a two-dollar dividends because it's exploding. If you look at the chart, yeah. a one-month chart, it's going to go. It's going to go this direction. Yeah, because I was impressed with the like he was saying like. If you bought two thousand nine hundred and eighty six shares, it would you know, your you know, the you would have of course it would cost you sixty three thousand four oh four. That's what the stock price was at the other day when he was doing that when you had him on there live. And uh I was just impressed with the small amount that you needed to generate that kind of, you know, um monthly income. Yeah, you don't need a lot because if you look yeah. at Coney, if if Coney paid two dollars, which they will Two dollar, two dollar here. They're gonna pay two dollar. So for two months straight, they pay two dollar four and two dollar six. So think about that. So if you own Coney, if you own, let's say, pull the calculator here. If you own five hundred share like I do, right? Time two dollar and sixty nine cents. You're getting one thousand three hundred forty five. You don't need a lot. And his portfolio, I think he has like three thousand Coney or something like that. Three thousand time two dollar and sixty nine. He's making eight thousand dollars just from that one fund. Yeah, it's double. Isn't that crazy. The, it's, it's double. It double your every share give you it gave you two dollars. Just think about that. Every share yeah. give you two dollars. That's crazy. Good cash. Yeah, it's really good cash. This is why. <laughs> this is what the hater. The hater. I wish the hater just do that. You know, like people who don't like Tesla or Coney or any Yield Mac. And they call it it's gonna fail. Just take the just go look at the dividends and punch in the number of share that you own or the number of share you want to own. All right. Let's here, here's all the growth stock people. This is why this is why growth stock people just analyze it so wrong, so wrong. Growth stock people love Microsoft, Apple, the Magnificent Seven. They love the Magnificent Seven. They love NVD. All right, 
They, they love all these growth things, okay? Well, if if you like Coinbase, and let's say, oh, I, I'm going to buy Coinbase because it's for growth. All right, great. We're the high yield dividend investors say, we're not, we're not, we're not faulting you for that. Those are great stocks. Buy them. Buy Microsoft. Buy Meta. Buy Google. Buy Netflix. Buy Apple. Buy Berkshire. Buy whatever. Coca Cola. Buy whatever. All these growth. You know, well, Coca Cola is not growth stock. Buy all these growth stock that you want to own. Great. Buy them. But what we're doing is we're buying the underline of these companies. So we're buying Coney. But what they don't do is they don't do this. They they only look at this. They look at it when. Oh, they only look at it, well, Inception, this price, and now it's this price. Well, plus, plus they're not talking about how much it took, you know, how many shares it took to get there, like like with NVIDIA, 800 yeah. bucks a year or whatever. They're not talking about the, the capital they, they took to get there. Yeah, they don't, they, 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 they talk, they talk, yeah, totally agree. They don't talk about how much it costs for them, their own money, to buy that fund. We're not, at some point, the high yield dividend investor, they're not using their own money anymore. Like Adam does not need to use his own money. He can just stop contributing into it. Are you agreed? Yeah, I, you might recall from when I presented that spreadsheet um, I, I, earlier this week, I have 3,900 shares of Kony. Yeah. I'll probably buy another 100 shares to round it up to, to 4,000. So let's say he so, had 4,000 and they pay $2.69 again, you know, whatever, let's say $2 or whatever. He's getting $10,000 a month. He doesn't need to use his own money from work anymore. Adam, do you still contribute with your own money into the fund? No, no. Li literally, I'm using that kind of money right now. Uh, I'm uh, all my other um, uh, high yields. I'm doing automatic reinvest the, the drip, but that one, I'm moving that to buy the week three, week four, and week one yeah. dividends. You don't even need. He doesn't even need to use his money from his paycheck. If you're a growth investor, you have to use your money from growth because there's no other income. Guess what? You you get paid from McDonald. You have McDonald. Uh, manager and you make eighty thousand dollars a year. I don't know how much McDonald make. I'm just making it up. You make eighty thousand dollars a year as a McDonald restaurant manager, and you have to take a thousand, two thousand dollars to buy a growth stock, to buy an Amazon, to buy AMD, to buy Nvidia, and you have to keep doing it. That's your own hard-earned money. But guess what, Rob and I and all of us in the high yield dividend community, we don't have to put, we can turn that off. We start that way, but we can turn it off and we don't have to use our money anymore. So the $80,000 I get from McDonald's as an, uh, from, from my salary, I can take it to get the go, go, go out, go, go to the lake, go to, go to Disneyland, go on vacation and stuff like that. My, my, my investment in portfolio is self-run right now. I'm going to get 6,000. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I didn't mean to. It's, it's like on autopilot, you know? Yeah. And here's the beauty part. I, I keep telling people, I get $6,000 every month. There's nothing stopping me from getting $10,000 by the end of the year. Nothing. There's nothing. Even a maybe a black swan that, I'm, that I haven't been exposed to. <laughs> There's nothing yeah. stopping that. that. That thing is moving as long as I put the money back into the dividends. Because in in in, in one year, I'm going to get $72,000. Ah, I, like, I, like, I like looking at this new new feature that I have. This is that not was, a good representation. Good. Just minus next 12 months. Uh, how do I move? How do I move to the right so you can see? Look at this. I love this. I love the. I love this screen. Income for next twelve months is sixty-five thousand dollar. Receive income year to date is five thousand dollar. This is oh, here his total my portfolio. In, receive income to date is eight thousand dollar. Now it took me forever to get to get here. In 2023, I got only eleven thousand dollars of income. 
eleven thousand dollar of income and in, for the whole year. But in two months, I get eight thousand dollar. That's the power of compounding. I'm I'm projecting to make ninety five thousand dollar. That's two. awesome. And it keep going. That's like that's like a whole new salary. I, I make one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year, but this is like a whole new salary for me. And and so the the part is like I said, I'm on my way to make ten thousand dollars. There's nothing anybody can stop me. You can hate, you can spit on me, you can do whatever you want. You can. There's nothing you can do to stop that train from happening. Is that correct, Adam? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank this you is for why... sharing that too. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. No, what? I was just gonna, I was gonna say too, Adam. Thank you for sharing that spreadsheet the other day and how you did all that. That was pretty slick. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I haven't had a chance to uh, clean it up yet, um, but I'm definitely gonna try this weekend. My my wife as a nurse is working all weekend, so I'll definitely get to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what my, my biggest aggravation is right now is I own a lot of Apple shares and I mean I inherited from my mom's when she passed away and um, you know my sister and I divvied up the shares that she accumulated all the years over the splits and everything got a massive amount but my bug about it is every time Apple takes a drop it takes a hit on my portfolio you know it's just it, that gets aggravating then I look at these and it's what these can generate and I know Apple pays a dividend when it comes out with this, you know, every uh, every quarter and stuff. But it's just it's so up and down. Sometimes it has its good days where it makes money, and it has its bad days where it drops, and it gets very aggravating sometimes. Yeah, that's that's why. Hey, you know, just just do you, man. Just uh, we we do us, and people who don't. Yep. We just do what we do, and we continue to make money. We're living proof. All of us here are living proof. All of us here in our channel. That's why one of the first thing when I ask people is, that, "Are you a believer?" If you're not a believer, man, there's no way to explain to you. Like it's like, like Adam is a believer. He he understood it. Makes sense. So it's not that difficult to have conversation about it because he understood it. But if you're not a believer. And, and, and think about it, in order, in order for me to understand what I'm doing, I have to, I have to go through a whole year of putting my money in, I only make $11,000. And the whole time going like, man, how am I gonna get out of this? Like, I don't, I don't see the money coming in that much, you know, because it's still small, but yet my Tesla is just dropping like it's $9. Or during the time in December, it's like $10. It's dropping like crazy. How? But you have to, you I, have to believe, you have to switch your mindset and say, this is for income, for income. January, February. Got, huh? I said some people got concrete between their ears and their head. I've learned that. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like I said, I, I run into people that you know, when, like I said, when I tell them my day trade, they just give me like this blank stare, like. How do you do that? How can you make money? Well, you, you learn it and that's how you make money. People just, they don't get it. And it's the same with these, these funds. They don't understand the money you can make from them and, you know, either get with the program or learn it. I mean, but it works. So you just, you got to do it. Yeah, I, I tried that. It was too stressful for me, you know, with trying to work through the day and trying to look over and oh crap i just missed i get out quick or you know yeah. set the set the uh, you know the 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 closes and everything it was just too much when i retire i think i'll get back into it though yeah it's like i said don't get me wrong i've been doing this a long time every day it's you know you don't know what you're going to make my goal is to make five hundred dollars a day when i day trade and i usually hit it every day sometimes i make a little more sometimes i make a little mess or mess <laughs> a little less but you don't know but you just you know it's it's a you got to learn it and you know devote your devote the time to it like these you know right. and you'll you'll get it down and you'll you make money with it 
you got to broaden you got to broaden your horizon in life with your mind and everything or you're never going to get anywhere and people just don't do it they're stuck in their job every day and doing their same routine that's great for them but i mean you know you got if you want to broaden your horizon and learn things you got to do it in life yeah um I mean, like I said, I spent 15 years in a factory, you know, working on a machine, fighting a machine every day, coming home from work, you, you know, wore out, beat up the crap. <laughs> yeah. And then I go to a seminar, three days seminar, learn how to do stocks and, you know, come home and day trade for, you know, paper trade for two weeks before I actually jumped in the market and just, you know, follow the steps, what I learned and just been doing it ever since, you know, and it's, it works. I just, I had the vision that I can do better myself in life instead of being stuck in a factory working there for eight hours and getting my body beat up. I wanted something better in life. And so that's why I did it. I, you know, took the plunge and it worked. Yeah. So, sorry, I don't mean to, I didn't mean to hog up all your time. No, no, no. The, 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 the purpose of the YouTube channel is to have this discussion and not, yeah. not, not me monologuing. Nobody want to hear me talking the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, this, this is interesting stuff, you know, like, yeah. So when you're talking about rage against the machine, that's you, man. Yep. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was, it was, it was horrible in that, you know, I, I, you know, granted I made good money. I mean, back in 97, I was making 50 grand a year in that factory and I walked away from a job making that much money back then that was a lot of money in 97 when i left out of there so people were like looking at me like you're crazy what are you doing what are you doing and i'm like i'm sorry i want to better my life um yeah like, i i talk about this all the time guys um your life's not going to change unless you do something about it Whatever it is, whatever problem you're going to yesterday, whatever problem you're going today, it's going to be there tomorrow. It's going to be there tomorrow and the day after that until you do something about it. So if you're not happy with your job, guess what? Congratulations. That's what you're going to be doing for the next four or five years or for the rest of your life. So if you want, if you want to change, you got to do something. And this is one of the methods. There are many methods. This is one of the many methods to to drive toward uh, uh, change. And that is financial independence. Really, the first change is really relationship. You, you, you date the wrong girl, you date the wrong guy, you, you, you're you gonna be poor for the rest of your life, that's it. So the first thing you gotta fix is the relationship. So, because that cannot happen until, until one or two things happen. You leave the relationship or your partner change. And it's much, much, much more difficult to change a partner. Uh, and some people will change, but it's rare. It's a rare instance. It, it takes the person to have some moral courage to change. And so change the relationship, and the other one is financial freedom. If you and I agree with you. Yeah. Huh? I said, I, I agree with you on the relationship part because I, uh, at the time, you know, my partner, she didn't, you know, was like, well, why, why would you want to walk away from a job like that? You're making good money. And it's just, it's not always about, you know, making good money and everything. You also got to be happy in life. But I agree with you hundred percent. You got to have a partner that supports you in doing this stuff. Um, or they're just going to bring you down. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked a question, does, uh, I think his name is uh, Toby. Does anyone have a problem getting into our Discord? Does anybody have a problem getting into Discord? I mean... I haven't. Yeah, so no problem here, man. Yeah, let's post a link here again. If, In fact, uh, I'm watching you. I'm, I'm watching you on my phone right now. So I don't know how you can hear me over my phone if the if the you know the value or my voice is okay or not. So here's the link to Discord again. So if you want to join the conversation, yeah. just click on that link and and just come in and join the conversation. 
easy cheesy. Yeah. Now, if you come into the conversation and think you're going to change me, yeah, you're going to get banned. Uh, if you come in conversation with True Fate and just have conversation, yeah, well, we'll you can have conversation all the time. Um, and this is a high yield dividend community. What we want to talk about is high yield dividends. We don't want to talk about anything else. But you, you can talk about something else, but if you're trying to push those agenda on us, yeah, we're... And it, and also you're trying to tell us that we're wrong, and this is going to be a and that high yield dividend is going to fail, and it's a scam. Yeah, you're going to get banned also. Yeah. We 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 are heavily moderated. This is a heavy moderated community. Uh, we're having a party. It's at, the party's at my house. Bring your girl, bring your food, bring your beer, and we're all gonna have a great time. But if you come to my house and you insult the side of my TV, you're gonna get kicked out. You can insult my my, uh, my girl, and you can insult that all the people, and and you can start making fun of their girl and how fat they are. We're gonna kick you out. And you can insult her cooking. We're gonna kick you out. No, just come to a party and be a good dude. I cannot like I can go into anybody party and have a great conversation and have a great time. This is, you know. Thank you, Mayor. Hey, Sarkaski. Uh, did you? Somebody posted in the Discord about a, a new Yield Max launching Thursday. Have you heard about it? The MSTR. Yeah. What does that cover? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I did. We did this for Rexshare. So, matter of fact, that's a good question to ask Rexshare CEO. Uh, the Rexshare executive is in our Discord. They, 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 for those who don't know that, uh, I would not private message him because I told him other than what you're doing promoting your t uh, promoting your uh, your t-shirt and give your t-shirt away don't don't accept any private message because there's a lot of toxicity and a lot of spam in it but all you do is post it in general and tag him and then uh, you know let's see if he answer because one of one of rec share uh, ETF is MSTR they supposed to come out they haven't come out they are supposed to come out in August of last year they still haven't come out yet. Okay, uh, so we did we did cover that during the time MSTR. For those who don't know, we're talking about MicroStrategy Incorporated MSTR. MSTR, they uh, they specialize. Here's here's what they do. MicroStrategy Incorporated provide enterprise analytics software and service to the United States. They essentially a lot of people call them an AI company too because they do an analytics software. Uh, I don't know much about what they do in terms of like, you know, I don't like micro strategy wise in terms of all this. Uh, it offers micro strategy and enterprise analytics software platform that enable users to create visualization, customize app, and better analytic directly into workflow. Micro strategy cloud environment. That's the other one that I, I hear people talk about. When you take a micro strategy, the other one is the cloud things they do. Managed software as a service solution which offer all always on threat monitoring enable rapid analytic development and development to deliver security and data privacy. So essentially they have security, privacy, uh, you know, somebody who know more about this company, please let me know. What I probably do is I need to go to Tyson Corner and actually, uh, so I go, I go to the, you know, I, for those who don't know, I'm in the military, so I go to DC a lot. And so I should, I should go to Tyson Corner and, uh, and and take a look at this company and just see what's going on now, big, and uh, just go. But okay, so that's that's the company. The company is making money. All right. But the biggest thing in this company, when I first looked at it back in back in uh, August of last year, this is what I know about the company. The company owned Bitcoin. They own a lot of Bitcoin, like billions and billions of dollars of Bitcoin. For whatever reason. They own Bitcoin because they own so much Bitcoin. The value of this company is eleven billion dollar, and I, they probably have like ten billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. It's crazy how much Bitcoin they have. And uh, and somebody gave me the number one time, but it was, it was a lot. It was like I, I want to say I want to say almost uh, three billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, it's, it's definitely over. Last I recall, it was 4.4, but I think- it's, uh, uh, now It's now 10 billion. 
Yeah. Oh, they, they own ten billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Yeah, they just yes, bought a bunch. So of their company is eleven billion value, eleven billion dollar, but they would ten billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. <laughs> so they're a billion dollar company, and they would ten billion dollar. <laughs> Go back two years and take a look at what the price of the stock was. I was trading it back then, and it just it's exploded since then. Yeah, I think I was trading it when it was around two hundred and fifty-six dollars a share. I was trading options on it, and it just it blew to the upside here. Yeah, it's I just crazy. shared. I just shared in the general. Um, we did All right, some of their investor relations material. Yeah. So, so um, I, I was one of uh, two people you had on, um, I don't know, maybe five, six weeks ago, where we were talking about Bitcoin. Um, and def definitely their CEO, Michael Saylor, um, just watch any YouTube, just search, go, go on YouTube, search Michael Saylor, um, anything, you know, explains Bitcoin or whatever. He's one of the best, most articulate in explaining why Bitcoin and he just gets it and that's that's a big reason yes his company does well uh on all the analytics and, and so forth but uh owning that much bitcoin uh i had mentioned a, a while back that uh both coinbase and microstrategy if you were to put a chart i think somebody did it on um trader trading view where you put a chart where you can do all three at once and when you watch the bitcoin price move literally Coinbase and MicroStrategy lags by about 30 seconds to three minutes at any given time. And wow. there are a couple of guys I follow on YouTube, um, uh, Traders Helping Traders. I've asked him to create a bot that could you know, follow Bitcoin and trade, do day trades, whatever, on, on MicroStrategy and Coinbase. And, and literally there's money to be made there with that little lag. It's amazing. Yeah, that is is interesting. I think I this is just me. What what explode the company? Not not just the Bitcoin. It the the value of the company because they own so much Bitcoin. It go up with Bitcoins. Yes, but also is the if you take the Bitcoin away, anything anything any company that's going after AI is increasing. Like any company, Palantir, C3 AI. C3 or AI, Microsoft, Google, all those companies, Meta, they're all going, everybody going after AI. They're all, they're all making, they, they, it's like the new, it's the new gold rush. And this com company going after AI also. So, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. And um, so I'm, I'm really happy for them. Uh, will I play with them? Yeah, I probably, I probably buy them. Like I told, like I told you all, everybody here. Eventually, I'm gonna own all of them. I just can't get to all of them now. But eventually, I will own every single income. I want to own every single income ETF. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I want to own about a thousand share. About a thousand share is about twenty thousand dollars. So I want to own about twenty thousand dollars worth of all these funds. And it take a while. It's gonna take me a while. All okay? right. Uh, but I'm on my way to get twenty thousand dollar a month. So eventually, what's gonna happen? Every month, I'm just gonna buy one of these funds outright. Here go, thousand dollar, thousand share, bam, thousand share, bam, thousand share, bam. Yeah, I can't wait to get to that level. I cannot wait. Woo! I am so excited to get there. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, keep it real. Say Bitcoin go down, micro strategy will go down. Same as Coinbase diversity is game. Yeah, uh, we're not disagreeing with that. Keep it real. Yeah, we're not. No, no one can disagree that diversity is cool. We're not. We're not anti-diversity. Like I, I just told you, I'm gonna own every one of them. It doesn't matter what it is. All, all these high yield income strategy. Uh, I mean, you can't. How, how do you get more diversified than that, man? Uh, I own Yield Max. I own Defiance. I own uh, Neos. Rexshare. I'm gonna own Rexshare. I'm gonna own uh, uh, Invesco. Uh, JP Morgan, uh, you know, the CLM community. I don't know what CLM, that ETF, uh, you know, uh, who owns CLM? Cornerstone. Yeah, Cornerstone. Who owned them? I, I just blank out. You know? I, I guess Cornerstone is Cornerstone. Okay. 
So, yes, CLM, I'm going to own all of them. I, eventually, I'm going to own all of them. So, and they're all going to generate income, and they're going to have various form. Every month, I'm going to just, I'm just, I'm going to go to the beach, sit down, put my lawn chair up, drink my, drink my cold beer, just like this, just chill. And every week, a fund is giving me, you know, either two, three hundred dollar or a thousand dollar, and just every every day, every you know, every week somebody's gonna get paid, you know, somebody's gonna get paid, and it's gonna be diversified, all income fund, all income fund, yeah. I love it, I love it. Uh, so I'm gonna it's like eventually I'm gonna own all of them. Now there's a lot of income fund. I mean, geez, there's so many. I mean, if you sort it out, it's any new new one launch. Uh, there's just so many. There's at least. I mean, I find it. Uh, sorry, I, I I find it interesting that there's a income fund on the treasury now. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot. There's there's income from on the bond, TLTW, which is one of my favorite fund. TLTW you, is one of my favorite income fund. All you need is volatility, and you can make those those the delta between the call and the put. Yep. Look how many they are. Now. There's 510. I want to own all of them. <laughs> All right, how much do I need to own all of them? Let's do this calculation. Calculator. All right, so uh, 510 times 1,000 share. No, I want to own 1,000. 510, and I want to own 1,000 share of each. There's 510 of each. That would be time one thousand. Times twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, and then time one thousand. Time one thousand dollar. Yep. Five hundred ten. So about five hundred five hundred thousand dollars. All right. Uh, there's five hundred share. They own a thousand share. Time twenty dollar. So I'm gonna roughly need about ten million dollar. <laughs> I give you. I give you three years. <laughs> I need about $10 million to own. And of course, they're growing. So you're not going to beat that. Uh, they, they, they continue to grow. They sold 500 something to share. I want to own all these. Maxi. Now, that's because I use 1,000 share. But if I use 100 share, that number will be lower. But I want to own all of them. NVD, X Maxi, all of them going to generate income. Here's TLTW. These are all the top player. These are all the top player. Tesla, Clip. I don't know about this guy. This is new. OALK, Connie, Rate. NVD, QQY, Maxi. Anybody remember Maxi from, from Simplified Bitcoin? Um, and Fly, SQY. No, there's Bitto. There's, there's, there's Bitcoin. Uh, I think, and then SQY, AMDY, Money, Jeffrey. A lot of yield max. There's iShare. There's TLTW. TLTW is among the conversation of these top there's, there's There's the twin brother of TLTW, LQDW. These are two, you know, bond. This Facebook. I'm sure well, you want. Uh, I'm sure you won't own Deso and Moderni, right? You, I'm sorry. What's what's the question? You're not gonna buy Deso and Moderni, are you? Oh, uh, Disney? No, no. Yeah, every one of those except Disney and Moderni. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And thank you. Thank you for reminding me that. Uh, I'm not buying Disney until they change their their cha you know for. Self-respect for Walt Disney, and unless they go back to Walt Disney era, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna touch Disney. And Madonna, man, they dragged me to the COVID mud. Screw those guys. Screw them, man. Screw them. I cannot stand them. I cannot stand. Them. Wow, what one of the biggest scam artists in the world is all those help company generating billions and billions of dollars of income on on our expenses
Yeah. There's no way of buying money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Disney has good earnings. Great. Go buy them. I, I'm not I'm not touching them. Go buy them. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna tell you not to buy anything. You buy whatever you want to buy, but I'm not buying it. Hey Rob. For me, yeah, Disney's just... more, been more of like uh, this whole political thing that they keep going on with this whole woke thing. So it just makes it too volatile for me to touch, just like Ford right now. Yeah. Sarkaski? I've been to Disney twice and wasn't impressed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I live in Ohio. I can go over here to Cedar Point and have a better time. There's more roller coasters and everything. Dude, no. I used to go. I used to go to uh, Disney all the time. I really enjoy it. I really, yeah. really enjoy Disney. I mean, uh, it, it brought back my days when my family drove from Boston all the way to Disneyland. It's a journey. I mean, it's a it's a like a road trip. We would go there on Friday. We'd come back on Sunday. It, it's just like it just. It, it's just fun, you know. I miss those, those time, those, those vacation time that you spend with your family. I enjoy yeah. Disney, but what gets me is uh, after COVID hit and everything, they were building Star Wars Land and the Star Wars Hotel, and they were spending so much money, and they wound up having to close the Star Wars Hotel because the expense was so high could not afford to do it so it's like only the ultra rich could go see it yeah well disney didn't bother me it still don't bother me whatever they're doing they, what they're doing it did what really the, the the trigger that got me all mad and pissed off on disney i tell you the truth all that time i was not upset i was just like whatever whatever man i don't care i'm not it, it just didn't really upset it didn't really trigger me until they kill han solo and how he died. I was like, i never been so disgusted. I saw this in theater. Um, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Harrison Ford wanted to die. And he said he would only come back to Star Wars if they killed him off. Yeah, why, why? Because because he, he knew this was gonna be, he don't it, wanna be. Honestly, want... honestly, he thinks that the character that he played in the original trilogy is not worth all the fame he got. And so he hated all the fame that he got for playing such a bland character. So he wanted him to die off so he wouldn't have to deal with it. Yeah. Well, uh, but anyway, I wouldn't kill him. It, I mean, that's the actor. The actor is not the character creator, the writer, the, the, the universe. You built the universe. You built the universe, Han Solo. There, there was essentially when you're a boy and a girl, there's three things. You can be the, the anti-hero Han Solo, you can be the hero, Luke Skywalker, or you can be the princess. The, the, or you can be the Ewok, or you can be the little, you know, the, the sidekick, or you can be a, a bandit like the, you know, you know, or you can be a, a Jedi Knight, you know, whatever. There's, there's like, you know, like, that's what you inspire you, like, man, Han Solo got the go, you know, like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I was not happy with how they handled Luke at the end of it. Oh, oh don't get me. Uh, uh, that way. Oh, my God, don't get me going on about Luke, man. Luke hate, Luke ha hate how he treat. So think about the journey that Luke Skywalker went. Hey, we lost you. I'm sorry. Just think about the journey that Luke Skywalker went through, and then Ray hand him the lightsaber and he toss it away, like like that all that all that experience, that life experience that we as a fan go through, <clears throat> it doesn't mean jack shit. I hate to use foul language, but that's how frust frustrated I am. Well, yeah, and then him just uh, blinking blue milk from uh, from uh, the 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 teeter of a creature. Yeah, that was weird. Well, that that doesn't bother me. I mean, yeah, you know what? It's in the future. It's fiction. It's not real, and it takes place in some la la land that is not real. If, if that's how we want to get his knocked off, and that's how you want to get drink, I guess. 
doesn't bother me. I mean, if some alien come in and see that we drink milk from a cow, they probably find it disgusting too. I don't know. But that didn't really didn't bother me much. It's just that, man, the journey for Luke Skywalker, just that, that killed me. And then the, the, the redemption of him coming back, and you're using the force projection at the end, that's, that's to me, that's pretty cool. I, I like that a lot, uh, but, <clears throat> but I, I didn't understand. So that, that pissed me off. Okay, but then, you know what really pissed me off after they kill Han Solo, Chewbacca is moping around and there's Luke Skywalker, his best friend. And they should some have some kind of ceremonial event, those two. No, wh who does he con who does he consult to? Some total strange girl that he had no idea, never met. Some strange some strange girl, instead of instead of having a relationship with Luke Skywalker, he has some relationship with some strange girl who had no no connection in his life. And it's so, like, whoever wrote this is like, oh my god, you have no idea. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm sorry. Now I'm mad. <laughs> it, ruined, it, ruined my, it ruined my childhood, you know? It was Ryan Johnson who did that one. He's known for doing, like, action movies and stuff. So, basically, he was not the right pick for that one. Yeah. Oh my god, pissed me off. Oh. Uh, therefore, I'm taking out on Disney. Screw them. Screw Disney. Don't care. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. I should screw them. They need Luke Skywalker. Need to buy for like a. Can you imagine? He sold for five billion dollar or eleven, whatever, like billions of dollar, and he's gonna buy it back for like a hundred million. <laughs> that'd be that'd be insane. Can you imagine that? Buy back for like for nothing. Oh my god. Oh. Somebody did that for uh, uh, for Robotech series, one of the Japanese series, I can't remember what it was. Uh, they sold it to the American company, and the American company trashed it, and then the Japanese are like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it back. And they're like, for like, a penny. <laughs> for like, for nothing. And then they made it better, you know? It just show you how money destroy things. And destroy good intention all the time. Yeah. Well, they did buy Doctor Who, and I saw the new miniseries for Doctor Who, and I I wasn't a fan. I'm just saying, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, they, they killed Doctor Who also. Man, all these companies, why don't you just create your own universe? And why do you have to keep coming, cre destroy all the one that we love? Oh, I, anybody see Willow? Oh my god, trash. Trash. I mean, I liked that they were trying to do something different, but, you know, it was kind of all over the place. Oh, it, well, you, you know the biggest trash of all? It's Lord of the Ring. Oh my god, the Amazon Lord of the Ring. Oh my god. I read the book. I'm a huge Tolkien's fan. It's one of the early books of my childhood life. I, I love the Hobbits. I read the books. Um, and then I saw the movie with Peter Jackson. I was like, oh, this is awesome. It brings back, you know, the lie, the book on scene and uh, it was just great um i'm gonna make you feel bad about that they're rebooting it into a cartoon which one the amazon lord of the ring no the the peter jackson lord of the rings they're rebooting it into a cartoon oh that's fine that's fine as long as long as not the amazon one <laughs> and they're also rebooting harry potter too into a tv show okay oh my god <laughs> oh my god the amazon lord of the ring has got to be one of the dumbest oh my god they they took this girl they made her marry sue from hell this girl my favorite my my scene that uh, the scene that lost me in amazon prime lord of the ring is so she's about to go to the owl's land and she's on a boat and I want you to think about it. They're miles away, thousands of miles away from shore. And she decides to jump <laughs> with no plan, no backup, no nothing. And she jump off and then she she's going to swim back to shore. <laughs> That's their strategy, swim to shore. It's just crazy. 
crazy. I was like, who? When I saw that scene, like, who wrote this? This is stupid. I got another one for you. Have you seen the new uh, Halo TV series? Yeah. Oh, don't get me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't He's got that. a nickname now, Master Cheeks. Master Cheek? <laughs> oh, wait. The stupidest part about the Halo universe is this three stupid things. Ryder, somehow the UNC is the bad guy. The human race is the bad guy. And the UNC is a bunch of idiots. And and then the, the government is controlled by a, a human girl. Oh my god, stupid. Like, it was like, and, and, and the covenant, the whole goal is to wipe out the human race. And the human race is trying to defend from the war. And the whole thing is, is prelude to the war. It should be prelude to the, to the, the Halo war universe, which is the war. And, but somehow, somehow that become UNC's the bad guy. Oh my God, it's so stupid. I cannot stand it. Uh, I cannot stand it. Oh, oh man, you guys, you got, you, you, you'd say all these things just to trick me. It's just trigger me. <laughs> oh my God. No, I appreciate it. This is why, this is why Saturday, drink coffee, chill, just hang out. It's so much. Yeah, it's fun to hear your opinion, though. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, guys. Uh, most of you may not know this, but I play video game a lot. And my channel here is not a gaming channel. There's no video game anywhere in my channel. I'm thinking about broadcasting to my this channel right now my channel is broadcast to another channel okay so what's the difference well I don't want to pay another hundred fifty dollar a month to to that channel anymore so I rather pay hundred fifty dollar a month I only want to pay hundred fifty dollar a month one time to, to, to do multicast streaming and all that stuff so I want to pay, I want, so essentially I want to play a game, but I'm going to broadcast from this channel. I'm thinking about doing that, but it's not, it's not the same universe, okay? You got a whole bunch of people who talk about investment are older, more mature, and people who play video game are younger. So they're like two different universes. So I think I'm, I think I'm going to ruin the community by doing that, you know? So I don't know, I'm, I'm debating, but I want to play, I want to, I want to broadcast the game again, but I don't want to switch. The thing is, my Streamlab cannot switch. Like, if I if I switch, I crash one or the other. You know, it it it's it, it it's not just easy as switching a mouse on a button. You know, you'd be surprised. I'm playing Helldivers too now. It's, oh yeah, it's good. It's really good. All right, and I want to play the, the Division. This is one of my favorite game of all time. Oh yeah, Division Two. Division yeah, oh, but man, I'm waiting. Division three is coming out. Now, hey, does I Division, Division two one. have a, does does Division two have friendly fire? No, 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 no these are looter shooter game. Oh, okay. Oh, Hell divers, Hell divers has oh. has friendly fire, so you can just manage your teammate. Yeah. So I thought about rebooting the division and play this again, big. Uh, division one, division two, getting ready for division three. Yeah, division two was probably uh, was the one I preferred. That uh, was my favorite one out of both of them. Yeah, and oh, he gets real division cheap one. too. It's super cheap. You can get all the DLCs. It, yeah, two for it. Yeah, this is this is the opening of division one right here. And uh, yeah, this is this is literally the opening of Division One. Awesome! It's so much fun, man! It's so much fun. But um, I love Division One, uh, and then I I played Division Two just a little bit, and then um, and then I uh, and then I just stopped. I I, I forgot what the reason. I think I was deployed in the time. And I just stopped playing, and, you know. So I was, 
I was in, I was in the military, I went somewhere and then I never, I came back and I just totally forgot all about the division. But the reason I want to play is Division 3 is coming out and uh, Division 3, it's, it's projected to come out, you know, and I want to, I want to jump back in because I love the division. I, l I love the whole storyline, the whole storyline. Um, man, it's just, it's just unbelievable. It's, it's one of the greatest Tom Clancy story video game. All right. Anyway, I, I just want to share you all that, uh, that perspective, but I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how do I broadcast these things. All right, uh, hey guys, um, it's 11.30 right now, and look like my girl's ready to go. We're gonna go eat lunch. And uh, it was nice talking to you, it was awesome. The reason I do a live broadcast on Saturday morning is mainly to reach out to the people who watch me, who cannot watch me live uh, on Sunday and Thursday night because they're in Asia and in Europe and they're in, they're in Australia and stuff like that. So now I'm, I'm doing it essentially seven o'clock at their time zone uh, at 7 p.m. in their time zone for them, you know. Uh, but normally on Saturday morning like this, I play video game. Uh, I, I just play games and and uh, stuff like that. Uh, I'm supposed to be traveling today, but I didn't have to travel. But next week I'll be traveling. All right. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to bring my laptop with me so I can still do live broadcast. But I think I'm going to be kind of limited. So we'll see. We'll see. You won't know the difference because all the technology is the same. But I'm going to. I'm going to see. I'm going to see what I can do. All right. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, with that, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play my, my music here. And uh, you guys got anything for me? Last thing. All right. So my closing monologue here. I'm going to switch to Child Swap account. And I want to, my closing monologue. Our YouTube channel focus on high yield dividends, high yield dividend, okay. and you're all dividend warriors, right? And that's all we want to talk about. We, they, you, you know, we can talk about other stuff too, but our primary concern is making money to high yield dividends as a source of income. We're not doing it for growth. We're not doing it. It's a source of income. If you don't understand that, then this community is not for you. We are looking for source of income replacement, replacing our current job. All right, and um, right now I'm making really good money. All right, just give you an idea. Uh, last year it took I only made 12, uh, almost eleven thousand dollar. That's it. This year, this month alone, these two months long, January and February, I made eight thousand dollar already. All right, and the month is not even end yet. So by the end of this month, I'm gonna make about eleven thousand dollar. All right, and then my my earning estimate. For 2024, it's about $89,000 or $95,000 a year from now. It's continue to grow, continue to get better, and continue to improve. I'm going to continue to get rich. There's nothing in the world to stop me now. There's nothing There's nothing you can do. It. You can hate me all you want. I can turn off the YouTube. I can stop doing whatever I want. But I'm going to make $6,000 a month. And by the end of the year, I'm going to make $10,000 a month. That is happening regardless what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make $10,000 a month. And then I'm on my way to make $20,000 a month. And I love talking about this because eventually all this money here, I don't need it because I already have a good job. I have a good money. This is gonna be for my girl. So she doesn't have to work. She can travel. She have her own money. She have spending money. <clears throat> I'm gonna forward this to her checking account. So when every, once I, once I go into retirement mode, I'm gonna, I'm gonna essentially forward this money to her checking account. Instantly, instantly, by being my girl, you're gonna get $10,000. A month. Like, here you go, babe. And let's, and then, so this way she has some money when we travel, when we go places. Yeah. I'm really, I'm, now, I'm really, really happy. So don't allow somebody out there to piss on your parade. There's, there's many ways to make money. There's thousands of ways to make money. And you can do whatever you want to do. But this is the, the approach we're going at. It's not a scam. It's not going to fail. It's You're going to be fine. For those who are out there concerned about the reverse stock and all that stuff, don't worry about it. And you're like, why am I so confident? Because Tesla is the flagship of yield max. They're not gonna let it fail. 
Okay, so this is how you know the person being sincere. Just ask them when anytime somebody tell you that Yale Max and all these company is a scam, is a failure and all that stuff, just ask them this question. Is all high yield dividend, you, do you feel the same way for all high yield dividend? If the answer is yes, and you think they're all gonna fail, then you know that person is, is not who he is. He's not smart, not illiterate, doesn't know anything about investment. If he say all high yield dividends gonna fail, then if he just said Tesla is gonna fail and everything else is gonna be fine, yeah, there's an argument to be made on that. But if he said all high yield dividends gonna fail, then then that person does not know what he's talking about. Because there's so many now. Like every company has an income fund. BlackRock has an income fund. State Street has an income fund. JP Morgan has an income fund. Goldman Sachs has an income fund. They all have income funds. They all have them. And they're all making money, they're all getting rich. And you think BlackRock's gonna let it fail? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Okay, with that, I wanna say, hey, thank you so much. And, um, and I appreciate it, take care. Oh yeah, uh, Fort Wynn, that's your girl, invest. She can make her money, yeah. Her investment is me. She invests all her energy and her time on me. If she invested on me, she will get this. That's that's a, you 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 give your life your your life. Um, when I go meet her her dad, I'm gonna tell him your daughter is not your problem anymore. It's my problem. My problem. I'm taking. I'm gonna take care for the rest of my life. I can. I. I'm gonna. I'm. One of the ways financial security. I'm just gonna give her this income. I will. You know. There you go. All right. Take care, everyone. It's good to see everyone. Take care. Bye bye.